Who would have thought? I'm what? Yeah. But now that he leaked this, I can just show you all the texts that I got like three days ago. <laughs> okay, the ones that like I was I went to I was going to bed to lay down in bed, and then all of a sudden I got a I got a whole bunch of memes. He knows how to pick his victims. <laughs> Even though Steven's hurting right now and I want to acknowledge your pain, I also want to just shine a little bit, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, Steven, you're somebody who has things to offer other people. So the way that they're going to interact with you is not a real reflection of their character sometimes because they stand to gain from you. My understanding when it comes to his sexuality stuff is he tends to be like kind of like kind of autistically like explicit about like consent and boundaries yes, and like what's going thing. on in the sexual dynamic. The yeah. problem Again, that I'm saying is that Max is shoving women into a narrative that's fundamentally about Max and his feelings about destiny. And he's okay. trying to champion his feelings sure. with the suffering, struggles, and issues of women. And it's fucking gross. Okay, well, that's uh, that could be, maybe that's true. But then also, I don't know if you were watching like three days ago on stream. Uh, but Ste uh, but uh, fucking Stephen goes, uh, goes on to talk about how if you really want to be like big brain manipulator, then you be over communicative with- I him. knew he, Max is going to use this really clip. I knew it, I knew it, it's so he good. Even uh, check in with you? It's a good line of attack. What do you mean? After some of the blow ups on stream and stuff, didn't he check in and see how you're feeling? Yes, yes, yes. I, I already I already talked about that. He checked in on me that one time and I told him it was like water under the bridge. He was like, are you okay? And I was like, yep, fine. And that's like totally Isn't that him being bad. responsible for the like reality yes. of like yes. what's going on inside yes. of the platform? So oh, how yes. the fuck I are we building already, this weird already, narrative I, about his sexual partners? I, no, 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 no. I already took responsibility for saying that I should not have like lied. That was manipulative. I like, I had full, that was a, a completely manipulative of me to do so that I could like, so that I was like deemed like healthy enough to get back on stream. That is like my bad. We've all seen DGG. We've all gotten hate, different levels, obviously. They can yes. say some pretty nasty really shit, sucks. right? They say some nasty shit no, about and Max. This Max decides so they're meanie babinis and he wants to go to war with them. So he okay. declares war, unsurprisingly, he gets more hate because, I, you know. I, I, I think I agree with you, I think I agree with you, but I also, like, you gotta understand that Stephen went on stream and called him a rapist and said he was blackballing him and said he was going to delete his website. Like, that was after, that was after. None of that matters, that was after. I don't, I really, I really, I really don't think that's a bad person. I don't think he's a narcissist. I don't think that he's, he I don't think that he's uh, manipulated Anna and anything. Anna was, hours. Anna's been trying to reach out to anyone she can for months about this. It begs to. So, really, that, me, you need to protect me more. And Stephen says, I can't. There are only certain things that I can do. Stephen, even yesterday, I'm pretty sure he revealed that he dropped his relationship with the Groypers and any element of like interactions he was having with them to stand in solidarity with Max. So it's not like he's just like completely being a bad friend oh, but he didn't, but he in any way. He didn't say that to Max. Like it was he. So now, now I feel like that. So is Max like can a mind read like a f***ing genius, except for when people are doing kind things for him. That's certainly a on and off button for the, <laughs> the magical empathy power. Maybe who the f who the f isn't that no, I don't think weird? That's... Doesn't it hey, seem like Max is maybe looking for like Negative. if you're so mm -hmm. consumed and 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 convinced that the world's against you and that destiny is against you, okay. you're gonna find also, the evidence for it. But at some point, is, a healthy person goes, uh, hold on, is there counter evidence to my belief? Maybe my feelings aren't quite right here. But Max never has that moment. Max never has the challenging or the thought questioning or the emotional challenging. What he does instead is those, there's a pattern for me. And now Lav is kind of having it as well. And he has a sexual relationship with Lav as well. Hmm, well, I wonder, you know, I've heard some stuff about this Anna girl. I wonder if there's a similar thing going on there. And then he starts building a narrative, building a narrative. Steven brings a girl on. He her, he dumps her, he gets DGD to dog pile on her, and then he lets the cycle continue and he gets to clean his hand. And then we're trying to even pretend right now like he's not trying to paint Destiny as a malicious, nasty f What world does that narrative exist where Steven isn't actually kind of a f***ing monster? So it's it's hard for me. So I my experience with Steven is that we had like a sexual relationship and then it became like very much like sort of like a platonic friendship. Like the sexual dynamic did not continue into like now. So now she it, got that it, it from me last like night because I told her this. Like my superior but that's good that she's repeating, ways. I guess. Whereas like with Max, they had like a very close relationship. And in some ways, I think that if you asked either of them, it would feel like they were like in some ways, Max was Steven's like only 
actual friend. He'd talk to him about like relationship stuff. And then Melina would talk to Max about relationship stuff. And it became like this very close relationship. And so they have this close relationship off stream. And then on stream, Steven is just able to say that he's like manipulative, abusive, that he's crazy, that he's all of this shit. Like you've you've got to put into this like hold on. Especially because is that fully wrong? Okay, first of all, like let's they are close. Some of the criticisms that Destiny has levied at Max are fair. There is some weird sure. shit. For example, just to be clear, Steven and I are also very close. I also know a lot of what you're talking about. Not sexually. About. Nothing sexually. Please specify that. Not sexually. Please specify wife. that. It's not like I'm speaking from outside looking in and like wondering what's going on. I understand this dynamic. The issue is that, just to be clear, when I say close, everyone's going to assume that we're, we're not we're married. We're not, 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 not sexting, nuding, well, nothing. Just to be clear. <laughs> How close? Lab is doing it. The issue is that <laughs> the issue is that this is why, in my view, Stephen's criticisms really punch home. People respect him. Okay, just to be, and also, I'd really appreciate if you don't imply anything like sexual about a relationship. Basically, no one's ever going to believe me that we're not sexual because of the Kuma brain memes. But it's actually like sure. genuinely. I'm sure. just a yeah. platonic friend of these people, okay? Yeah. It, like that that's actually like somewhat important to me that people like, really don't miss that. Paradise. Oh my yeah, god. Like, Who just we said that? We have to be because Wait. apparently all oh. the other like are fucking really? Movies, so you don't have the choice. Like, well, what are you piping in with that? What's going on? Yeah, like, what the f it's been doing really well and I haven't had a chance to really insert myself, so I took that opportunity. That's good. By the way, just quickly, sorry to interject. Max deserves some criticisms. And the problem is that if Aerodite you expect to be friends with Steven, never receive Aerodite hard criticisms, you're just f***ing kidding yourself. And specifically Max, who, let's be honest, isn't exactly this perfect shining, like, beacon of hope and joy, and, and he's just very careful. Like, Max f up Welcome all the time on his platform. Nation. That's kind of part of what his platform does, is he's, like, being all vulnerable and stuff like that. And within that means he's going to up and the reality is like yeah he's done some really weird shit he does make some really weird claims about things and the reality is that at some point steven has to be a little bit honest and acknowledge that there are legitimate criticisms of him if he doesn't you'll see it everyone's gonna say, everyone is probably still saying this about me if you don't levy legitimate criticisms about your friends then they basically can't take you seriously when you say anything about your friend the reason why when steven levies a criticism it packs such a punch Welcome it's not because he has these hordes of DGG dogpilers that he sicks on people. It's because people know that m when Steven levies a criticism, he's got f***ing receipts, that he's thought Bro about Gideon. it, that he's intentional about it. He doesn't just f***ing riff off. He doesn't just say dumb shit I, about people. Just, when he says so things like, there so are some weird shit. No, this is not biased. Give me, like, not at all. Are you f kidding me he is absolutely researched this is why people respect his opinion on things this is why when steven comes out against or for somebody it changes the structure of the narrative because people respect his opinion and yes there is major responsibility for him in that he f***ed up with the comment about the phone with max and his girlfriend uh, that now, wasn't a f up guys that was a fair comment like, comments about his friends have that much power that was not a good thing to say. I understand why Max was upset. But if he levies legitimate criticisms at his friend, you don't get to be mad as Max because guess what? Some of these criticisms are valuable and true. And the the big thing here is, is Lav, a lot of the issues that you're having with these criticisms and getting this flack is because of, it goes back to, the, we don't even have to talk about interpersonal things. We can go back to your political takes and, and your evolution there. You last night got on a stream, and as I was pushing back on you, you started to backpedal on a lot of the reasons why you were there. You said, I sat Love some days and thought about this before I got on, and I said, and then you started creators. to say, um, I don't want to say anything I don't really mean because I'm not really sure. And, and it's like, well, streams. you just contradicted yourself. You're not really thinking about these things before you engage, before you act. And if you do that, you probably wouldn't have a lot the of these issues. But you're so no, easily influenced in all these situations. Here. And you know, but you, you keep getting on streams and you keep saying these things. And now you're getting into serious territory. It's one thing when your issues on uh, your views on sex work and trans people and all these other issues are, are going through an evolution in public. It is an entirely different one. When you start engaging with serious things like sexual accusations and abuse and misbehavior. And lastly, to put a capstone on this, being a streamer is a 
an incredibly difficult dynamic to navigate. Being friends with streamers is an even more so one, but you have projected a lot of onus onto Steven that no one else in the real world believes is there. There are power dynamics at play. There are power dynamics to consider, but the superior subordinate one that you keep leaning back on is not really there. You are putting it there. You have a choice to be his friend. You have a choice to go on his stream. You have a choice to decide whether or not you benefit from his stream. Steven is aware and he isn't abusive with that power. He doesn't sick his audience on you just because he gives his belief or his view on a situation that in many cases, other people tend to be the first ones to come public with. Last night, he is going to give his opinion and feedback and there is going to be a repercussion. You're on the internet. That's going to happen. People are going to talk about you. People are going to go on the subreddit and make posts about you. That is the nature of the internet. Free speech, baby, all the way. You have to decide whether or not you can deal with it, but you can't keep internalizing it and then coming out with these crazy public statements and not having something well thought out and that you can substantiate. Okay, great. I, I think that this is, again, I, I I really struggle. Yes. Okay. We know. No, I know. I know that this that this everyone wants to make this feedback about me. I get it. I I have already said that I shouldn't have said anything. I'm very impulsive. I uh, maybe impulsive. I don't interact with the How many autism, ADHD. Before you do because something about it. I I will never. F do anything about it. I won't. This is Wait, just what? who I am. Then why would? No. Oh, there it is. Oh no. You can't be on. The, I'm on this. That's the statement. That's the. That's, that the that's the killer. That's the psychological like killer. Post-it note. And oh no. There are things so you can remember not to be a there are like, every day. They're like saying that empirical. I'm, there are empirical holy things holy you can day. do to improve your impulse holy control. Day. Are you kidding me? She just doesn't want to. I guess. You're saying okay. you're saying that I'm on this personal the personal journey arc. I've been I've been a streamer for three months. Give me a. But then she also brags about being on TikTok. These situations before you realize, fuck, maybe she I keep saying back on one hand, how I behave on I've stream, been a streamer for only three you months. You think I'm not doing that? You but on my stream, she would brag you. that she's if not doing that, chasing you having for clout because she has 700k or whatever you get on TikTok Wait, followers, you which okay, is it. Are you pushed in and then you come back three more days to do it again? Am I just not doing it fast enough for no, you? No, you're not I'm making any sorry. corrections. You're not making any corrections to the behavior. Why are you holding me to these f***ing corrections? You're a stranger. You're a stranger. Because you are a public <laughs> figure and I'm loving criticism how, how, to you. He's a stranger. You the destiny is how, your, like, uh, producer. How, don't you have, like, a, a, like, this is the issue I have with this. You're not, like, some baby tiny streamer. Don't you have, like, a 700K TikTok and you're, like, decently successful with music? Like, this has been a big thing that I've actually had to, like, tell other people to fuck off about is they've tried to be like, look, like, this is, there is this massive discrepancy of, like, size and cloud and capacity Wait, between, like, understand. Lav and Destiny. Oh my God, and oh my God, that's oh my God, not true. I don't want to make you about You're very successful okay. in oh, multiple ways. Can't be about ways. me. Okay. <laughs> this is Pull the back. last thing. This is the last thing I will say about my, my involvement. I don't, I... I don't, I'm obviously severely mentally ill. I'm <laughs> like, I don't exist. I don't even, none of this like fame, internet fame has ever felt real to me. I went, I was in a cult for five years with no access to the internet. Holy and then all of a Jesus. sudden I get on the internet, I become famous out of nowhere. I like, I only exist on the internet. Everyone feels like my friend. It doesn't feel like, like, I don't know how to do this. I don't have a, like, I go online. I go. I say my little silly things on live without consequence because it's the f***ing on. It's the online world. Nothing feels f***ing real. You have to put into perspective. Like I do not live. I have like I, I dissociate constantly. Like I don't know. Dissociate, I don't know. Yeah. Like she's what using is the dissociate real language. And what is, like, here's a, here's not real. real. Dude, the psychology yeah. shit like f***ed her brain so hard, dude. No, Holy shit! I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I don't. You have a friend. Wanna... You had a friend. I don't know where that stands right now. You had a friend named Steven. That you could have we gone are to. friends. We are Can friends, I... and he gets it. Sure. He understands. He gets it. Yeah, That's but I wouldn't make I'm all saying. these excuses. Fine that he gets it. The fact that he gets it, and he likes you, and he's willing to engage with you, something you could do is process things with him offline. Talk to him in chat. Talk to him on the phone. I you know. Before public with these things, you could do that. Well, you say you know, but I'm telling you that is one of the key pieces to the puzzle when it comes Great, to these issues. Great, but this is, have. again, you're acting like this is extremely easy to navigate. So- It is, it's pretty easy. It's pretty easy. Take how hard it is to navigate 
Genuinely. Take a hard I've to navigate. I've been in this, this space for a long a, time. It's very difficult please, to navigate. Please. It's it, not. No. Okay, not. now add that. Now add add that onto that I am just I'm uh, extremely underdeveloped socially. Like extremely Holy underdeveloped Jesus. socially. Now take all of that and the I The psych not, language like, is coming out. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I know that I, I made a mistake. Lab, I feel lab, bad. Lab, okay. I'm telling you easily, very well easily what to do i'm telling you it's fine let's erase everything that's happened up to this point you're going to go forward from the stream trying to make a change that is the key and i'm i don't you, know if i am no. and you can't hold right. me no, to I, that. I don't know she, just, this, she doesn't want to this is pointless and this has turned into a dog pile. Do i've created that. a dog pile by mistake all right okay i'm right. sorry I'll I'll, like i think you should leave i got it okay to change my change lab wait lab i i believe you are capable of did Pixie get in here? Why is this making? Oh my god, this is so annoying. Everything becomes about me. Everything becomes about me. I literally. I wonder why, why can't that we talk about? Why can't oh, we talk about? Oh, she's gonna come in and be a little Sorry. Very apt criticism that is Steven sleeping with everyone that he interacts with. I think that that is an interesting conversation to have. Interesting. It always comes back to me. Why? Why? I for up, a I couple of reasons. Said I up. Right. That, like, I, said I, I, I this. What I else get this. can I do? Okay, so here, here are like genuinely, like how I think is like the best way for us all to move forward, which is like, I can tell that you're super distressed, Lav. I think it's probably better for the conversation to end sooner than later, um, because I, I like, I, I hear the like distress that's going on for you, and I don't think that like anything good is going to come out of like pushing the this even more. Cringe. Um, I really think that you should be. I think you should just slow down a little bit. I think you guys um, are gaslighting Lev. Oh, we have a cool. defender. Smith, thanks for the fucking psych terms. Good job. Um, I, I think. Wait, is he just trolling? I, I think when you talk about like leaving Twitter for three days, I think that's a really, really good idea. I think a lot of this will just like blow okay. over if you right. just. You're just, you're just insulting her. Jeez. You're just insulting right. her over and over, and then Steph. letting her melt down. Steph. And then every time she melts down, yeah, yeah. I don't care. Every time she melts down, that she she like scrambles for anything just just to get a breath of air, and she's desperate and emotional, and so she reaches and says anything, and then anything that helps your narrative, you grasp onto, and then keep going forward with that. What the fuck is going on here? Ooh, what are we Lab talking? is gonna agree with this. Uh oh. Like, like dogpiling Lab and talk about the actual actual accusations and the actual meat of the matter, and get nobody, to, like, actual bones nobody. Of what we're Nobody's is that interested. I'm unironically trying to be kind right now because I don't hate Lav. I've already extended multiple amounts of grace. There are certain things that she'll then say to try and weasel out. So then we'll hold her on me. That. You keep trying to virtue signal using me Ooh. constantly. I already know I that I only I, hold on. Lav, I, back I, on the you attack. You tweeted your but stuff. Talk about I, what has been levied no, at Lav. Steven. You will do anything but talk about what's been levied at Steven. Ooh. You are I making have talked about what is levied at Steven. We've had well, whole well, panels about like fans before. It's not like a new concept. Okay, so, so they're not the, the first ones to introduce this. The thing in being investigated that there's no evidence for right now. There's no evidence. The thing that's being investigated is is that um, Stephen has sex with women that then go on his stream afterwards or during okay. the time he's having I'm gonna, sex. With. Sorry, my and mic. Cut out. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Sorry, my mic got super cut out. I just wanted to like finish addressing like my conversation with Lav. I really like just to be clear. I've never quote tweeted you on anything about the Steven stuff. The last thing I quote tweeted you was on the Misandry stuff, right? Which to some extent makes sense. That's kind of the thing I talk about. I genuinely think. The idea of you like stepping back from Twitter for a couple days is really smart. Uh -oh. That's a really, really good idea. Okay, don't I don't, I, don't I don't think you're wholly her. malicious. I think like uh -oh. when you get like your like toes held to the fire for like inconsistencies, I think that really sucks. And I think the internet is particularly like harsh and cruel to women. So I think you're getting an extra dose of it. And that sucks way, way more. The issue is that like part of this problem is that the way that you respond to it often like f throws fuel to the fire, if that makes sense. And then it's very, very kind of you to give funny. her an out where she ag can agree with you and then get off of Twitter for a while. Very kind of you. Smash, <laughs> first of all, who, who is this guy? You? Second of all, why are you coming in here and trying to now just do the opposite thing and like white Because it's night a dog pile. I think, yeah, Chud wanted someone that was more on love side, probably. Okay, here's the thing you're basically now just creating some new. Do you, I don't know who the.
you are. And you're basically saying that like me genuinely trying to like extend some element of like human grace to Lav is being yeah, she, gaslighting and manipulative. To- in order for her it to comes g- off acknowledge weird. She that she doesn't grace, have to has- agree to me to get off of Twitter. She can have the same fucking opinion and just get off Twitter. I'm recommending she get off Twitter the same way, for example, when Anna loops, I highly encourage her to take a break off the internet. For example, when I start getting distressed and overwhelmed with the internet, I also take a break. You Having sound distressed right stop- now, so maybe you should get off the internet. I don't give a fuck. It would really be great for me if you got oh. off the internet right now, wouldn't it? Good job. <laughs> You're going to mock a woman having some emotions. Good it would job. Be great. No, very would, good, I, virtuous I, I, white I, I, I'm well showing done. you you're exactly what you're doing. You're emotional now, so I'm telling you exactly what you just Jesus. told Lab. No, if you no, no, internet, it would be no, great. And that, no, that really works no, for me too. No, because it would mean no, that you shut the no, up. no, there's a very big difference between me being mad at some loser named Smith and a girl crying and in distress and begging people to stop like attacking her. Why are you calling him a loser? Because I've seen it on. Oh, is this a mutual friend of theirs or something? For so many obvious reasons. Okay. You I don't think need to take a break. Right. You don't have to. Quickly once you're done. Okay, oh, here's here's one that makes you a fucking weirdo, Smith. Remember when Shaylin made the picture of Lav being a child of a fucking Max and whatnot, and you superimposed your face on the picture? <laughs> and, and then you told Max that you were mad that he took Lav on as a child? Are you laughing? You're trying to publicly this is public. humiliate him. This is on Reddit. I, I did do that. Why are you trying? So why are you, why are you bringing this up? You're trying to publicly humiliate him because for he what? just asked me why am I calling him a weird fuck? Uh oh. Lav is on yeah. maximum yeah. attack right mode. Now, but I will say that I stand okay. by it. what you are doing right now. That's fine. That's fine. But you asked me why you I'm calling him a weird fuck, and I'm just explaining why he's a weird. The only thing I, I have, have no idea what that is, it's one of my greatest only, artistic achievements ever. You're only ever. empathetic to people who are in your f***ing court, Kyla. Get a f***ing huh? rip. Do not treat people like that. You're calling him a loser and you're publicly embarrassing him. This is the f***ing problem with being a f***ing online streamer. You're oh looking my for your f***ing stocks to go up. You're looking for public <laughs> favor. You're trying to see what you can do to make your f***ing stops go up, to make you look good, to make you feel like you got I'm a sorry, how does attacking you're doing it to a random that. person you me. Shut the f- Go up. You've done it to me. You've done it to Smith. You've done it to everyone you f-ing can to make yourself look f-ing higher than them. And to defend that's Steven. The problem. Don't that's forget the that one. Design of this f-ing internet, and that's why it's f-ing abusive. That's why Mr. Girl's talking about it. This is a problem. The fact my nuclear field really ticks down when it's not even being you're used. You're to a small creator like fucking Smith, and you're publicly embarrassing him because it looks good is for he you. A creator? No, I don't know who he is. That's, that's kind of shitty, isn't creator. it? Like, it's just wasting fuel. He came in. I don't want to make this about me. Uh, he came in hot, okay? He came in hot and yeah. already being condescending as f- towards me. So, so let's not act like I just like suddenly was like, oh, who's this new face? Oh, gotta get him. Like, there's no f- way. Yes, I went in and attacked him. Yes, I think he's kind of weird. F- I actually don't know if he's a content creator. And the reason why I outlined the Reddit post oh, is because you guys asked yeah, publicly me. publicly embarrassing, that's good. No, publicly because you asked me, good. yo, yeah, that's a really nice narrative you love. The reality is that you asked me, why am I attacking I him? That was the Right, right. Oh, this is really cringe. Come on, we're like talking about a red finger for the superimposed picture. Come on, let's if cringe. You, if you if you convince me to uh, to start crying and then and then start scrambling for something, you'll give me your hand to reach out to, and I'll grab it. And you'll be like, "See, see, look, you should just get off of Twitter." What the I didn't <laughs> Ruffles Ridge Twitter. Oh, three ads, guys. Enjoy. Twist. That Smith guy is her head mod. Ah, uh, makes more sense. Okay. Oh, this guy is a. Like, I'm not fucking. DM kidding. it to me. DM okay. it to me. Fine. I'll fucking DM it to you. Um, I just think you have to stop being enabled by Max. And Great. That's it. So. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for publicly saying that. That did so much. Dear Mr. Girl, you said that you don't care about the people that lab manipulates her mind rage because you love her. This is why I find myself so emotional regarding her. You abandoned me and disregarded me my well-being for lab short-term feelings in that moment after my hotline call about parasociality and you ignored me in the aftermath to protect her it makes me very angry at you lab was saying dad pick me over him and you obliged it was obvious to me as it happened that's why i took shaylin's family portrait and replaced her face with mine and this is why i got in the primordial ooze i clearly have a lot riding on this emotionally and i'm expressing myself through art i didn't want to seek your approval as a father but because of your parental attitude towards lab i was put in a situation where these are the types of fans <laughs> holy shit Wait, does that mean that possibly when I was reaching out to you just before, it wasn't some ma- nasty manipulative thing to get you to agree with me, but just actually genuinely saying I don't, this might be best I don't for know. you? I don't know. I don't We're know. I don't know. I don't know about that. Did. I don't like the way that you treated 
Smith. There's a big difference between me and Pixie, though. For example, I've talked to Lav in DMs multiple times. We've had a like decently long conversation. We've talked about. He's hair a products. troll. Uh, Lav, I'm assuming. Is it a troll? How am I supposed to know? Yeah. Spicy that we've talked about. <laughs> and then I've also told her multiple times that there are certain things that I deeply value about her and compliment her, like on her like the feminine aspect that she brings. I've talked to her about the like feminist critique that she levied against me publicly and told her that I was actually really interesting and that I've been thinking about a lot. I told her that I was like 90% on my way to becoming like a feminist and I was fully owning that like that was in part because of like some of the arguments she made against me and so it's like like that's cool it sounds like you you like each other but it sounds like you're trying you're trying to convince lav to to change in a certain way so that she can agree with your narrative but you're not listen i i, I understand that lav can can kind of jump back and forth sometimes a little bit okay but like overall if you take a step back and you watch her overall behavior. It doesn't, it's not too confusing. You know, like, I think, I think I, if you give her a little, little bit of like empathy, you can, you can take a step back and be like, okay. Um, nobody cares if she actually changes or not, but she can't keep complaining about it if she keeps making the same mistakes. Like, I'll be can't, clear, not I actually do. I actually do because I think like, I think Lav is like, so this is where a lot of people will like fully disagree with me on. Lav is, actually so fucking smart she is incredibly adept for like her life like the amount of like trauma that she's had in her life and stuff like she has a lot to fucking offer so when i'm like talking and like giving her public critiques of like things i want to change the- i i genuinely want to see that you don't have to agree with me i could be fucking wrong just to be clear and i'll no, still no. be able to engage with you even if you don't take my criticisms i hope that's abundantly clear here's a, no here's the thing here's the thing you're i can both things can be true i can also be absolutely retarded and and very inquisitive and and smart both things can be true but you have to take me where i am you have to take me where i am all of this like weird feedback that's like you could be this you could be this are putting expectations on me that is ruining my life just let me be just let me be yes just let me be it's the same thing with sneeko when i had a conversation with sneeko i was like holy shit you're actually pretty smart but uh, if you compare a fish to a dog like you can't they're just different and to be honest sometimes it feels like and i know that this this stupid i'm not victimizing myself i don't think that i need kid gloves but i do feel like a kid amongst you guys like i'm like i don't i'm i I come into this world because i'm fun i'm an entertainer i'm an artist okay i'm not like a i'm not a philosopher i don't have a degree i haven't been debating for 10 years i came into this space because it's fun and it's fun to watch so you have to give me some grace you can't hold me to the same standards that you're holding that everyone's holding you to kyla or everyone's holding i hear that i hear that i hear that and i agree i agree i don't you're not even you're not even worthy of being lowered you can be on the same standards i don't think you're that like you're not really you're 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 putting yourself down when you say that no no i'm not up smith you literally don't know like you're not even listening to her Jesus. like like lab like lab is actually identifying something that i would say like is decent yeah, the fair. only reason you're agreeing with her is because she put herself down in that compliment the, that, that okay, that's smith. the insidious thing about what you're doing here it's so bro, f- bro, example bro, you bro, bro. You're, such, you're such a f-ing, like uh, I took well, one, one class in psychology and now i know exactly what's going on <laughs> i can see into Lab's heart unhinged i only have a good reason to try <laughs> I can't okay. see into her heart, but I know that she just put herself down in, in a way that looked like she was uh, bolstering a, herself. It, but it was absolutely a put down. And then you're like, oh, I agree with you. I agree with Everyday. you. What the fuck? Yeah, if you didn't cut me off, you probably would have heard the rest of my reasoning. No, yeah, I, I came I in after you were done. To, I just or if I cut say, you off, I don't remember because I was pissed. I just want to say, like, I'm a big titty cosplayer and on the entertainment side as well. But I'm still aware that oh, I need to, like. Who would, who would have thought? I'm what? Yeah, the what? What is talking? What? Why does she get away I still with comments to, like, like that? That is toxic, sexual. So it doesn't really matter what you are so from, much you better than from. because of it. No, you are so like, much it, better than me because of it. Good for you. Good for you, you Kelly. You don't need to be a genius to know these things, surely. Good for you, Kelly. That's awesome. Kay. Good for you. 
Just to be clear, like, I'm, though, I'm, I'm actually so sorry. You are using your little... background as an Wait. excuse, and I'm saying this is a rubbish excuse. Okay, okay. so there are two options. Just we so either have no knows. kid gloves I, with I, lab, just, just, just to be clear, or we do. Now, the difference is that in this situation, you're dealing with sexual assault allegations against your friend. It's really hard. So, like, I can extend you grief of being like, I understand why you, like, say dumb shit. I understand why, like, to some, like, I understand some of these elements and I can, like, hold a little bit of space for that while still trying to, like, take you seriously on, like, the actual intellectual ideas that you bring to the table. The difference in this situation is you're talking about sexual assault allegations. So it's really hard to cut you a break. And to be fair, I'm still saying I think you're getting a shorter end of the stick because Max isn't being as public about it i think more of this like anger that people have should be directed towards max and not at you but the reality oh, is that there should it's be really no anger. hard everyone should just log it's off it's really you can't hold space for somebody on like the elements that are valid about like their life and their experience while they're making sexual assault ag allegations against their friend like this is super toxic true and base like you can say things that are understandable and still not excusable true that's fair I don't think I don't think I'm trying to excuse it. I think every step of the way I've showed that I'm like extremely embarrassed. Yeah, she has. Oh, what? She is embarrassed. I've <laughs> never, I've never, I've never Female? ever tried to say that what I did was like completely okay. I know that I have a piece in this. I know I have to take oh. responsibility. I have, and I'm trying. You don't. You don't even. This. This whole thing isn't. Isn't. Is, is this whole thing? You don't have to take responsibility for it. We can't. Can we use this? This as, is an as, enabler. Like, of this guy this, this is in, toxic. This situation to insult Lav and just dogpile her. Can we actually talk have about? Have we them? been insulting her? Because I don't yeah. really I, I mean, I, remember I, I, any personal I, I think, insults being thrown. Around. I, I think I've been like decently insulting. I think like I'll at least own that. I think I've been insulting. I'm not. I'll say that with my chest. I mean, Lav called me a retard before. So I, don't I just think, like, yeah, there's been a lot of insults all over the place. I don't think like being meanie mobinis is like the biggest. Let's issue. hear from Smith. Smith, what have you got to say, mate? Come on, everyone wants to hear. Oh, all I got to so so what? So the the accusation that there's no evidence for, but apparently Mr. Girl is investigating, is that um, is the he's investigating the link between Destiny having sex with women who then are on his stream and after or during him having yes. sex with them. And then eventually having very negative experiences with the community, getting ostracized and being called Intentionally. Crazy. That's the claim. That's what's being investigated, and there's no evidence for it. There Not is yet. evidence for him I buried those bodies. Uh, sexting Anna while, uh, while, while also, like, not addressing the fact that his entire community thinks that she's so mentally ill that even do talking about Destiny to her would send her down a downward spiral. That, Only when you bring up claims she doesn't true, like. And that, that, that's concerning, and, and that makes the investigation Call the worthwhile. cops. But that doesn't mean that we have to come down on this hard, like, like we, can, we can come at this, like, even Destiny, like, I understand how, how scary this, this whole kind of thing is, but there's no, no, illegal, there's no illegal action or anything. We can, co we can come at this and, it, like, maybe this is the, the thing, the streaming... There, the streaming has no good rules or ethics. I don't, like, I was just trying to figure out how to, like, contact people to come out of my own stream. I don't even know how to do it in an ethical way if I want to talk to one person about a topic and I want to reach out to ten people. Do I don't even oh, know how to Oh, we just saw his Reddit that. post like, about that. If someone's going to get hurt. Like, no matter how I do it, I'm going to hurt someone's feelings. Oh. And so if you're having sex him. with someone who isn't streaming with, there's no way to do that without hurting someone's feelings. And it, it maybe maybe you do hurt somebody's feelings. Like maybe, maybe someone's feelings aren't hurt, but there's a good chance that they could be hurt. So maybe we should just... Just have the productive conversation that could come from this about what the rules could be going forward. Like, like maybe as streamers, we can now talk about what what we should do. What what what? How would should we navigate this? Yeah, I think something important to add is um, so behavior can be crazy, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the person is crazy. Uh, I'm going to stand by the fact that some people in this community have behaved crazy, and also Destiny's behaved poorly on occasions as well. Wrong. But impossible. Um, I wouldn't say Anna Not is true. crazy. I would say maybe some of the things she did were, and that's how I would phrase it, um, because I think that's more correct. Um, actually, in this situation, I don't know if she has been. But yeah, I think it is important to make this kind fake of fake news behavior in a person. All fake news. So what do you, what do you think? What do you think about like? Uh, my my idea that I, I I don't I don't know if Destiny would do this, but my idea that I, I came up with earlier was if Destiny could just say I'm gonna f whoever the f I want, leave me the f alone. But if I f you, you're not coming on my stream again. 
What? Why? Why? Because because there's just there's just so much. But that's really weird as well. That is because, so weird. Because of, because of the power dynamic. Okay, fuck. I wish I was on here. To be clear, there has never been an issue with this. I don't know if there's ever in the history of the thousands of women, tens of thousands of women that I fucked, tens of thousands. There's never been an issue related to like power differential on sex or whatever. The only person arguably is Anna. And I don't think that had to do with the sex thing. I think it had to do with her OCD stuff. There's never ever, like the idea that this is all of a sudden, they're trying to make something like, this is a huge problem. It's not, it's not, it has never been. It's not. Our dynamic that he's being extra careful and making sure that they're not feeling pressure to come on or to not be on stream. And he needs to make sure that he's explicit with his sexual boundaries with them. If he's doing all of those things, for the most part, he's good. And I would basically argue, probably you should like try pursuing women and not just like sleeping with women who pursue you first. That would probably be my other recommendation I would make to him. Maybe well, well I, just... I, I don't disagree that it can be navigated in a way that doesn't hurt people. I'm just saying that that there be there is a power dynamic where he's very powerful and going on his stream will will help you a lot. So if you've had have had sex with him and then you engage in that power dynamic, depending on who you are, it could like maybe you can't handle that. Like and and that's not like does Destiny have to be able to, like... to know? It does. Is it Destiny's job to be able to know who can handle that or not? Because I don't. Because eventually he's gonna f up and someone's gonna get hurt. True. People That's do not that true. Life. That does happen, yes. People's feet no, get hurt no, occasionally. So, it's just a charged and so, situation. And then, and then it's brought it's back to the yeah. Anna situation. And then it's brought back to the Anna situation. He has you very can... clearly crossed God. a line with keep continuing to sext Anna and keeping it a secret from even Dan or Melina. Why oh, keep it a secret from Dan? What am I doing? She's just throwing anything against the wall. Here's an actual honest question. I'd love to, oh, hold on, actually, wait. They're I'll time it to check. sexting that is extremely irresponsible. I would agree how do we know that, that they this, shouldn't How do we sexting? know that this is not happening with other women or that this, is, uh, this had not happened with Bad Bunny? Or that something He's else been did not streaming happen? for 13 years. He's made tons of enemies. I feel like if there and was some still sinister shit. Are you kidding me? Who has ever come forward and had like major, major issues? Even with Anna, him and Anna figured their fucking stuff out. I would agree no, that them- No, they didn't. Hold on. They both agree that they have figured their stuff out. There's still problems, but they well, figured out a bit- Did Max say though? A thing that works. <laughs> and hold on, I would agree that I would- telling me how abusive he was. Was, was! She felt like she needed to sext him so that the community would not- attack her again no shot show those he logs to fuck him needs to keep in his good favor so that he doesn't fuck okay him. hold on i wasn't gonna leak this okay but now i will one of the things that it's so funny i brought this up to irrelevant i don't want to say this one of the things that max said to somebody else was in a way it almost feels like anna is sexually blackmailing destiny that was a take that max had which is the exact opposite that what anna's or that what uh live is giving here to be clear i don't think anna's doing that i don't think there's any weird I don't think Anna's playing any weird games. Nothing's about being her cool. Everything is fine or whatever. But just to be clear, this idea that like she's some slave of mine is unreal. Lav is totally inventing this idea. And it's stupid as shit. No, just to I, be I, I agree with stupid. Hold on. Both of weird. them, both okay, of them, them are it. adults. Both of them get to make yes. the choice. Anna also gets to choose whether she sexed him. It's not like he's saying, oh, if you don't sex me, I'm going to release my, my DGG hordes. If you don't send me that delicious, true, sexy fucking true. news. That's oh, Anna's in Chud's chat saying that now. He weaponized that powerful element against me to the point where I was held hostage to him. I was literally, okay. Oh, well, never mind. Maybe she's saying it now, I guess. There is a man and a woman having a sexual dynamic there is a power discrepancy but max said the exact opposite thing in dms moving, earlier to somebody else that it's like inherently oh, nefarious like actually though that is true there is these power dynamics yeah i know i agree with this okay just because of this is what i asked chad and erudite this is what i'm curious so uh, i don't know if anna's probably with this hopefully i don't blow this up maybe is Anna ever allowed to date anybody? That's what I'm super curious about because supposedly Anna, I think, has been saying that she's like moving towards having a boyfriend now. Is it unethical for, have, for her to have real life relationships? I'm so curious what Lab's take would be on that. You, Steven needs to <clears throat> allow the space for people to ask fucking questions about it without calling them rapists or, or trying allow to them ask questions. Well, if this is going Max to happen, wasn't just asking it, questions. Max wasn't, Max wasn't just Steven, asking questions. Hold hold on. Look at the narrative he was can, building about him. Hold on, hold on, Kyla. If Steven can, if Steven can, 
people like Anna, then we need to then we need to understand the consequences of him fucking people like Anna, and then Anna going to all of his friends and trying to spin this, this narrative, and then his friends uh, believing Anna because she she has receipts and she has all these like uh, you know she talks to us about her. Oh, feelings, she feels like she needed feel to be like, friends with you know, me. So uh, now I was holding her hostage. Abused, like it opens the door to fucking craziness. Loot me. So no, I don't think that Steven is at fault for most of this, but I think it's he opened the door for something crazy to happen and she, he should be more f***ing responsible yeah exactly I, I do believe he does due diligence everybody like he talks about it all the time and and i think he's a good advocate for for the that whole process of doing due diligence like he, he he's probably helped a lot of people in that regard um but this is one air I, I think no matter how hard he works this situation is very charged and i think to protect himself and to protect other people should he just i think the rule of not having sex with people he then streams with or maybe something even lighter maybe maybe that's too extreme maybe you don't need to go that far but there's some type of rule along those lines you know like there needs to be acknowledged that there's something happening there and so that the, the so that certain people won't fall victim to it like I mean, responsibility keeps being screwed. Anna's about, lost and no shooting at both taken sides. Any responsibility for making sure that Dude, Anna is probably mentally completely getting this, destroyed right now. That's not funny. I should imagine she's going through right now, and she can't actually speak for herself. So she is going. She's, she's going to probably start looping, and like you and Max didn't, didn't take any of this into account. He says right? in chat, "I'm going to be looping for sure." Anyway. So as I've confirmed, yeah. there will be looping. So this is, uh, we, have like the, we have confirmed the looping. Victim, but also, it's crazy. So you disregard. I don't see her as a, as a victim. I don't see. I don't see her as a victim. But I think it's weird. I think it's weird. I think their situation is fucking weird. And then I now I think that I just I I gave her too much. I gave her too much power. I gave I gave a crazy person too much fucking power. What? I don't know. What I don't is she know. saying? I don't want to call her crazy. I don't want to call her crazy. That's all I have no, to say. About her. I will say some of her behaviors in the past were. I don't know about now. I don't want to I say she's sane. Me. I don't want to say she's say crazy. She is. If we yeah. want to talk about responsibility, why don't we talk about the fact that Max is being irresponsible about Anna's narrative as well, like flying into Destiny's stream and just throwing sure. out de like Anna's sure. sex life details on stream, right? Sure. And like, and and now like well, Max Anna wants had to say Anna's public. crazy and like throw her under the bus. Yeah, but Anna had told already Max, done a stream about it. Anna has told Max. Okay, first of all, that's still Anna's information. Second of all, Anna's explicitly told Max multiple times that she's not comfortable with what he's doing. She, she gave doesn't him want permission to, have to do that, because, and she came to him first. <laughs> She can rescind consent at any fucking time, Smith. And she has. True. And well, he's still she, going on. When he he's still doubling that, down. When he's he still that, releasing her information. Okay, keep and lying he's still about the timeline. No, I keep no, lying about the timeline. No, when he posted that and when he said that on Destiny's stream, which were very, very close in proximity of time, she had at, at that immediate moment expressly given her permission at that immediate moment. No, she fucking hadn't. And I know this, okay? I, I just know that that's not true. Yes, wait, wait. Uh, I was in careful. the hole when that happened, and yes, she absolutely did. She was like, "Okay, let me just." Okay, the call out. Wait, wait, wait. I thought she said before Max went. I thought she said she wasn't in that call. Whoa, hold on. I thought Lab said no, she was no, not in that call. No, he left the call to do it. I was in the call. I was in that call. It was me, Shaylin, Max, and Anna. Oh. She said she did not put up a fight at all she was just like oh i'm kind of nervous about the sex stuff let me block it out she did not say no she did not say i'm not comfortable with this that's a fucking lie well her opinion Ooh. is it was three hours of being coerced into giving a screenshot so how, how are we supposed we know to know what the truth completely is. reliable narrator <laughs> no, I'm, no, I'm, another I'm throwing it under the, the bus because she's not like serving their narrative the we have no idea she was Asking for help about how to well, set I was up there. boundaries because I was she's there and, hey, and Lav, Lav, crazy. Lav, if you think that she's actually like mentally unwell and struggles with stuff, there's some element where you want to make sure that they have maximized agency and that it is as easy as possible to say no. Great. So if you hear somebody saying, I'm a little bit nervous, that's a pretty big flag, especially if you're working with somebody who you think is mentally ill and anxious and maybe a bit of a people pleaser, that maybe you should slow your fing horses. Well, what if you're working with someone who's mentally ill and anxious and a people pleaser and, uh, you know, you're a big streamer and they have a, a history of like going down like spirals of, of, uh, of obsession. Oh, we've got Claw on Twitch and, and his you. insane and girlfriend involved as well. <laughs> Melina might them. be held hostage too. Smith, think about this. I don't know if you've never had sex, but you can have explicit conversations. Anna made an emote about looping. It's not serious. It's fine. In a way that maximizes the person having safety and comfort. Just to be clear, I still think that they shouldn't have done it. I think it's dumb, but it doesn't make it nefarious and nasty or anything like this. It makes it dumb.
I never yeah. said nefarious and nasty, but it's, if it's nothing else, <laughs> it's it's incredibly irresponsible. No, because he doesn't have responsibility of Anna. He's, she, the backstabbing is unreal. Care. Nobody okay. cares. So, the no issue is that in Anna's mind, all Anna wants to do is set the record straight. She just wants to feel like she wants everyone to know that she doesn't feel like she was ever a stalker or was abusive towards me or anything. That's all Anna cares about. The problem is what Max and Mr. Uh, what Max and Lav want is they want Anna to come in and say, right now you're being abused. Right now you're being held hostage. Right now, blah, 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 blah. And Anna might be brought along with that, but what she's really thinking about is redeeming her past narrative. Like that's the thing that she loops on so much. So right now her mind is probably just getting completely because these guys don't give a f about anything that's happened in the past with her they're only focused on what's happening right now and she's just trying to like write the record so she sees like everybody trying to f her over from all sides so she's probably just shotgunning things everywhere yeah remove people's agency they can't actually speak for themselves at all good job that's that's how you were treating her earlier not at all okay people can rewind it back stop it rewind it back it's rewind time baby <laughs> Okay, listen, I don't think this I is I would love anywhere. for you to find an, an evidence where I at any point just said that Anna is never culpable for her actions or has no within the five Within agency. the five minutes, last I've five minutes. I've never said that. There's no shot that I've ever said that because I don't believe that. In fact, I've mostly been going like, what the fuck, love? Why are you saying that she's crazy? Like, what the fuck is going on? I think uh, if not with I'm us, afterwards, you should probably let Anna speak. If not with us, then after. I'm not speaking to Anna. Oh. Too much of a no, no, ability. Oh. I'm not getting involved in that. Uh, okay. Well, try talking to her privately to see if she's stable or not. Um, Maybe she's. I don't, she's not, I'm not going to spend any time with this. Wait, did she say this? Okay, if you enough. need to wait till, to see if she's stable or not, that's, that means you're... No, that's not real. Have you're removing her agency. On her own. No, exactly. it means this is very stressful, and I wouldn't be surprised if she was upset. Lab was actually crying a minute ago. So <laughs> wait, did she like, say this? Being a bit um, emotionally saying. unstable. No, being yeah. emotionally unstable is not the same as being like crazy or insane. It's like normal levels of being upset. There's a, yeah, there's a pretty big What's difference between saying oh, somebody, <laughs> even when given the opportunity for explicit <laughs> consent, can't do it versus saying, like, I don't know if they're going to be, like, ready to handle this conversation. But, to, like, to some yes. degree, I would say, like, it is, I would I still be like, Anna can kind of make that decision. I just don't know if it's wise. And she's explicitly said that she, like, doesn't want to get pulled in publicly that much. The problem is that, like, we keep looping, <laughs> looping on this fucking Anna shit. Is it fake? Yeah. Because I don't know. I don't know how to tell. Literally, she, yeah, it feels like she fucking designed it this way because now she has good favor in DGG oh, and that's all that fucking matters. She didn't say it. So is it irresponsible mad. to talk to Anna or You're not? just jealous because you want to be liked by DGG Lab. Is this it? Wouldn't it be so nice if ethics were just black and white? Kelly, Kelly, I genuinely, what pos what do you think you have added to this conversation whatsoever besides, I got big boobs. Look, I'm a Patreon big boob anime yeah, that's girl. Definitely that's exactly up. what I said. You have added definitely. fucking nothing. You have added nothing. You are retarded. Clout shark. That was a massive thing. What the what the entire <laughs> thing is this because of the goodbye. stupid shit that you did goodbye. on your goodbye. screen. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. You had to get a piece. You had to get a piece because I fucking called you retarded because you are retarded. I'm fucking erudite's fucking whatever the you got do it. You got do it. Do no, you remember? You got it. Elliot, I don't have you remember why you called me retarded? Do you remember why? Do you remember why you called me retarded? Kelly, I don't care to talk about uh, or to so you, you don't anymore. Remember. You you matter so little to me and oh, everyone no. around me so that I do not want to have a conversation. I don't matter to you. Oh no, I'll just kill myself. Anyway, so maybe you should. So. Basically. Oh no, so edgy. Anyway, the reason why okay. you pulled me retarded. So I'm, I, okay, so I'm done with this conversation clearly because if Kelly's getting more involved, that means I can't have a conversation done. Um, I My have said all I need you to say. I should not have made the Weinstein comparison and I should have not gone public with this without talking to Steven. Absolutely. Um, I don't know what the f I'm going to do. This whole situation is being messy. I hope that Steven and Max just can talk. I hope that everyone can just talk and we can all just move on from this situation and all take personal responsibility for our parts i hope everyone is okay and good and also please for the love of god i don't even know if asking this is the right choice please please stop talking about my fiance's job please please i'm begging it's like, not okay it's actually whole, super fair there's no reason this whole for thing, to bring up this whole thing everyone's i mean you really think about this and i think about who is 
actually being hurt the most by me coming forward with this information is my fiance who's now being called a cuck. People are messaging him crazy shit. People are being so fucking mean to this person who has no fucking stake in this stupid drama whatsoever. So now I've hurt someone that I love by coming forward with all this shit. It's all fucking horrible. And then for you guys also to entertain this video saying that I didn't have a heart attack when I did, that I had a GoFundMe scam. I mean, I know that you guys are looking for content, but get fucking real. You can't dehumanize me the way that you have. It's insane. We should not dehumanize each other like this to this fucking extent. We can call each other retarded. We can call each other fucking stupid, whatever. But the extent in which you guys have taken this and chud what you have allowed is insane. What have I done? Oh, what do you mean? I'm just vibing. Oh, oh no. I mean, what have I done? You've allowed, you have allowed fair, you brought in, oh. you brought in like Queeman, Queeman to come on here, say that I'm lying about my other sexual assault allegation, to say all of Jesus. this crazy fucking shit. It is insane. To say I was lying about my heart attack? Come on. To I'll agree with you. Queeman is evil Dan. He's evil job. Dan. I'll agree with to you. talk about my husband's job? Come on, use your use your platform a little more responsibly, please. I'm if you are if you. you're telling me to use mine responsibly, you have to be doing it also. Okay. I would bring on the second coming of Hitler if it resulted in more views. That's I've got to be honest <laughs> with you. Okay, well, at least from this point, please don't anymore. Don't do this to me anymore. Please. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay, all the best. Bye bye. <sighs> that was weird. Wait, right, Queeman. Bye. What are you I doing never, here? I never okay. once, I never once denied any sexual assault allegation. So, just saying. Oh, yeah, you defend yourself. I'm out. If See you go, thank you very much. Not a single on. time, not a single time, Bye. I uh, denied a sexual assault. Especially Kelly Jean. But, uh, completely untrue. But oh, I was saying um, bye to Kyla. Oh, I see. I okay. Oh, yeah, finish. you can stay on if you want. I'm going to pull more people in because there's more people waiting to talk. There's a lot of people waiting to talk. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, well, our Tory News wanted to come on. Tory News, thanks for waiting. Um. She called me retarded, by the way, because I uh, tried to suggest that there were some positives to doing OnlyFans, and now she's back doing the same shit. So, I, <laughs> but it's it's the way I'm not. So this is the thing. I'm. Oh, hold on, y'all. You pull me. Give me, game. Give me a second. Sorry, yeah, I pulled, you, I pulled you. Okay, Let's I just pull. I just put this in. That 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 main panel is over. So I'm just gonna pull people in and see what you got to say, as as best I can remember. Then I'll, uh, I mean, I'll take, I'll take the microphone I've... early, I suppose. Chud, thanks for giving me a chance to come in here and discuss some things. Uh, as a person who doesn't really engage in um, the personal politics of the platform all that often, um, <clears throat> it felt that um, a lot of people were being hurt of the recent times. And I think that there were, uh, I don't know all the details of every single person being involved. There were some comments that were made by Stephen when I was paying attention to the streams over the past 24 hours uh, that seemed to be evident of a person that was... Uh, in some type of pain and uh, inflicting great pain onto other people. And um, I, I hope that uh, he'll listen to the people that seem to love him the most, uh, be it Melina, be it Pixie, or be it Lex Friedman, uh, that seem to have his genuine best interest at heart. Uh, because from my understanding, sorry to say this about you, Destiny, uh, but it kind of seems that you have an addictive behavior in um, developing relationships with people and then allowing them to uh, take their, as you called it. The Sport Clips MVP haircut experience. No, he was like diagnosing me. In the world. Wait, Lex fucking lol? Wait, why are people saying Lex? What happened? Did he donate? He called Lex one of your close friends who could steer you down the right path. We, I am a close friend with Lex, to be honest, you know. We talk, we talk on the phone a lot, you know. Shit, who just joined? <laughs> oh, what's up? Oh no, my predictions for lab coming on today are getting increasingly more worrisome. What does keep joining to give you that art attack? Holy shit. Are you doing all right? Um, I'm fine. I'm just chilling. I'm good. I don't feel, you know what? I don't give a f I don't think I've done anything wrong. F everybody else. Anna is not like uh, some perma retard that like, she's literally pursuing real life relationships. This idea that she has to be truly a kid. She's fine. She loops a little bit. She does a little OCD, but you know what? It is what it is. We all got a little bit of crazy in us. I don't give a f So now I'm just watching these guys all f jump over themselves. I think it's really sad that Anna's made so much improvement and uh, being better with communicating with you and handling a lot of these situations. And it feels like they're picking at that scab real hard, trying to make it. Well, bleed. the issue is that like, and this is the same thing I said to her, and I think I said this on stream. The issue is that all Anna, in her mind, all she wants to do is she just wants to write like what people are saying about the past. She doesn't want people to um, think that she was a stalker or malicious or evil or anything like that, or crazy. Like that's what she wants in her mind. But what they want is they want a story where I'm continuing to sexually abuse her. That's what they're after. They don't give a f 
about righting any wrongs for her past or anything like that. They don't care about that. They need the story where Destiny is abusing you to this day. That's why when Mr. Girl came on, his like huge nuke was supposed to be like, you're still sexting her and abusing her and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, yeah, we've been talking for like a year, bro, or like months since I've gotten to Miami. Like everything's chill. But they need that story now. So for in Anna's mind, the problem is that her shit is being brought out into the public again after they got on a three hour call with her to bully DMs out of her. And they're trying to sell this story that I don't think she cares about. I don't think she believes it um, because we've had like, I've had like exact conversations, especially she started to like talk to guys. I've always been like, oh, hey, like if you're doing shit, like tell me and I won't like overstep any boundaries. Like we've had these conversations. Um, well, but the, uh, yeah, but the issue is that the issue is that they need the modern day story, but that is not what she cares about. So her shit is getting dragged out, like just to like sell their narrative basically. Well, I don't, I see a lot of people saying like, this was just revealed that you've been sexing her. I thought it was known. I well, it's not. So what people are saying is, so what I've always said is me and Anna are cool. We're fine now. Everything's good. And I think when people heard that, their assumption is that like they've stopped talking forever. And they're never talking to each other. That's probably, I guess, and I, I can understand how people read it that way. But like, I'm not public with every single person that I talk to or text with. Like, I'm not going to give my stream updates or even fucking Melina updates on every single person I'm talking to. Like, <clears throat> yeah, well, I guess maybe it's because in the, I, very familiar with this situation so like before there was a time where everyone was surprised like oh shit he's still been uh sexting yeah so way back like, like a year ago. and a half ago when it was like going yeah. back and forth and back and forth yeah of course that yeah, whole so time when you, when was you say tumultuous. you're cool now yeah. yeah when you say you're cool now and you're not like we don't talk but we're chill or anything like that because you usually give that kind of detail um just the fact that you guys are cool it's like okay cool it's not a surprise they've done this before I, it's being blown up into a narrative that doesn't exist mm -hmm. but um I'm sorry to cut content unless you want to talk about this more. I was going to come to talk about Ukraine. <laughs> I, I'm actually serious. <laughs> I was listening to the Lex thing and I had some some thoughts. Oh, Jesus. Anna's giving statements all over the place. I'm fucking disgusted. I haven't been able to even speak except Malden chat. Oh, and Destiny wasn't abusive. You fucking idiots. I didn't you dumb ass. I don't know if she thinks I was or wasn't. But like I said, her mind is probably looping like crazy right now because now all of her shit. I was texting Aridate the entire time for help. I'm retarded. Okay, great. Hey, let my retarded eyes talk then. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Oh my God, Doobie. Sure. Holy shit. Uh, and I was looking into it because it's my friend. And I oh shit! Like Hold on. <laughs> well. <laughs> One second. You've leaked our conversation. Yes, why? Wait, hold on. I messaged Steven immediately after you messaged me. I've had people try the malicious sexual predator narrative with me before, and I know how damaging it can be, so I couldn't let you do it to him. Not when you've pressured him to be emotionally open with you and promise not to betray him. Given the clear mental health issues Anna has dealt with and your own experience dealing with the mentally vulnerable, I can't believe you didn't know how unreasonable it was to go in depth with her about it without Steven's involvement. I was very disappointed in you, and if you'd come to me first, I would have tried to talk you out of it. You had already started the process, so it was too late to put it back in the bottle. Probing you for information and sharing with Steven was the best I could do. You should have gone to him, your close friend, before messaging me or anyone else if you had these concerns. I'm sorry things developed this way, sir. Jesus. Um, wait, oh, but now that he leaked this, I can just show you all the texts that I got like three days ago, <laughs> okay? The ones that like, I was, I went to, was going to bed to lay down in bed and then all of a sudden I got a, I got a whole bunch of memes, a whole bunch of memes. Um, and this is when I realized <laughs> shit is, uh. Shit is fooked. Hey man, I didn't realize I never wrote back to this, but I have to ask you for something. Do you know Denims or Curate Chat slash Bad Bunny? Um, keep in mind for this conversation, uh, Doobie is gonna be really mean towards me, but he's doing it to mine information for uh, from Mr. Girl. So there's gonna be stuff where he talks about me doing weird shit with aristocracy. That's not true. You can go and ask her. She actually sent me a DM yesterday where nothing weird has ever happened, okay? Just to be clear. But there's gonna be some like kind of weird shit like that in here. But okay. 
Sort of, I've interacted with both. Denim's more recently in Kira, like three years ago. <clears throat> so if you're trying to get in touch, I'm not sure how much help I can give you. They both think I'm aligned with destiny and are hesitant to talk to me. I'm trying to get in touch with them to talk about a disturbing pattern of abuse of female streamers in DGG, off the record. Hmm, some of my mods might be closer to them than I am. I can put feelers out and see if either would be willing to come on for an AMA. That'll open us a path of communication I can use to push them your way. Thank you. I don't know how you feel about Destiny personally, but I'm hearing some disturbing shit. I think he's entertaining, but any interaction I've had with him over the years has just been networking for debates or server outreach. I don't know him personally beyond that. Okay. And then Doobie pokes. But I know he's got a reputation of sliding into the DMs of female streamers, especially new ones. I think things are going to get turbulent. Assuming these women don't all chicken out. He's f***ed probably 90% of his female orbiters. You can usually tell who because they're always on his stream. Yeah. LOL. Yeah. Then there's some drama slash fallout and they're flung out of orbit. But there is weirder shit than that. But I can't get specific yet. I helped a former friend of mine build a streaming platform a year or so ago. She had a similar experience. Would she be interested in talking to me off the record? Definitely not. She and I aren't friends anymore, unrelated, and she doesn't stream anymore either. You probably saw her around when she was streaming. She used to go by aristocracy. I didn't know she had that experience with him. But she's firmly in the destiny camp just because she'd be more concerned about the cloud involved. That's not true of her or of anything, just to be clear. It wasn't anything as intense as what happened to Anna or Denims or Kira. <laughs> um, but she went through that typical pattern of he fucks you, shits on you, DGG dogpiles you, and then you leave. He tried to slide into her DMs, came into our friend group for a bit while attempting to hook up, and then when she turned him down, he fell out of that friend group, and it was much harder for her to get on his stream going forward. <clears throat> Good for her. So she didn't get the harsher treatment, but he lived up to his reputation of going after new female streamers. Yeah, she didn't get tangled up in the psycho shit. Nope, but again, she and I don't talk anymore and she'd probably deny it if you brought it up with her. So, shrug. Yeah, I'm worried there's gonna be a lot of that. 100%, he knows how to pick his victims. <laughs> He's always had the reputation. I wonder if this is where they first got the Weinstein thing in their head is because of Doobie. <laughs> He's always had the reputation of being a bit of a Weinstein when it comes to the Twitch politics sphere. I've heard stories, seen the pub, uh, public breakdowns, but I sincerely doubt you're going to get anyone who isn't already openly at odds with him to speak out and present anything he hasn't already aired out in his stream with his narrative spin. Yeah, I've already seen things that he hasn't aired out, but I don't have permission to share them. He's almost exclusively talking about Anna here, okay? Um... This is the same way I felt when Slush showed me screenshots of Dr. K ignoring that Rekpo was trying to kill himself but wouldn't let me use them. It's infuriating. I know the feeling. It happens sometimes on my server. I get evidence that someone is, doing, is actively doing something awful to a user, but I can't do anything about it directly because it would put the victim at risk. So I end up needing to fabricate entirely new narratives, complete with staged interactions, to get to the end result where I, was, um, where I get to permanently ban them. Very weird and frustrating. Yes, but like I said, I think he's good at sniffing out who he can control and who he can't. Yep, and there's no shortage of vulnerable young streamers on Twitch willing to put up with him to advance their new career. <laughs> I wonder how much Doobie's messages like drove <laughs> drove Max onto this. <laughs> I kind of wonder now. <laughs> right, so I guess now I'm just stuck pathetically messaging them and asking if they want to actually do anything about this. I'll try reaching out to Denims and Kira and push them your way if I can. Thank you, Abe. <clears throat> hey, you. Just give me a quick update. A few of, oh, I asked Doobie. I was like, any more information? Can you poke him and see what's going on? And Doobie says, let me check. <laughs> so, hey, you. Just giving you a quick update. A few of my mods are pretty well known in Kira's community. And I've got another in Denims community. Will you let, um, we'll let you know when they get back to me. Did you reach out to any of the women he's publicly had issues with? I'm on good terms with most of them, I think. He says, I'm trying to, but none of them are getting back to me. He's starting the anti-Mr. Girl hate train pretty hardcore now. This was on November 10th, 2.40? I don't think I was on any hate train. What, what hate train were we on? The only thing I did was I reacted to a video of his with f***ing live on it. Was there any hate train? But 
So I'd love your help in talking to them before I look like a spiteful asshole. I can't tell you who I've talked to already, so just try to connect me to everyone you can think of. He's mining so hard right now. Will do. I'll give you an update as soon as I've got something. Thank you. November 10th was yesterday? Yeah, but it wasn't until Lav did her thing and then at night that I everything went crazy. D&D hadn't even started yet. <clears throat> Well, we're friends, but I stopped working with him because I think he's abusive to his orbiters. And then I found out he's been lying about and smearing the women he f***s. And then someone told me that he said he's aroused by psychologically tormenting women. I guess we're friends, but he's also a sociopath, and I'd like to figure out what's going on. All of this here is coming from the one screenshot from Anna where I posted the uh, Christian Bale meme about laughing with Lav debating those guys on stream. That's what all of this comes from. Psychologically torment, I'm aroused by psychologically tormenting women. That's where all of that comes from. <clears throat> um, so then he mentions the Anna stuff and he deletes it. I'm deleting those messages. Not that I don't trust you, but I can't say it in public yet. That's nuts. I can't imagine how that even works with all the public blowups, unless she's got some sort of humiliation fetish. No, no, she just doesn't want him to stop talking to her. Oh, don't worry about it. I get it. I've had to deal with sensitive stuff like this before. Delete whatever you gotta. Okay, thank you. She knows if she goes public, he'll cut her off. In a weird way, she's blackmailing him for more sex. That's that blackmailing me line. So I don't know how, where, how am I also blackmailing her? We're doing it at the same time? It's like such a weird, I don't know in his head how he's like made all these narratives fit. That's fucked, I feel bad for her. Sounds like an extremely abusive dynamic. And then Mr. Girl says, yes. There's a general pattern of, one, bring on female orbiter, two, fuck her, three, trash her with the community, and four, discard her. I'd like to stop this from happening, but I can't really if she doesn't want to come forward. Well, that didn't stop her from leaking DMs, eh? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like she's been so thoroughly put through the mod on multiple streams for the last year or more. She's got likely zero credibility, so it's going to be very hard to get people to listen. I know. That's why I would like to help her. I still have a decent amount of credibility. Steven will move, will move to take that away, though. If she gives me permission, I can prove that almost everything he says about her is just a lie. Maybe she'll get attacked, but that's better than having zero credibility. He doesn't even give a fuck about her, dude. <laughs> Tell me this is not like extreme narcissism. Holy shit. He can actually do no wrong. Oh, actually the, um, so Doobie's, Doobie's baiting heart. Yeah, Doobie's talking to me the whole time. Dewey's a cool guy. Well, or at least he thinks I'm cooler than Max. I'm not a rapist. Haha, <laughs> now that you know about. Um, hold on. Where is Cherry's tweet? Cherry's tweet is, is unreal. This is one of the biggest things that, oh. Or here, okay, maybe I'm crazy. I don't wanna prime this actually. I won't prime it, we'll just watch. I think Destiny's strongest argument against you is that you're manipulating people behind the scenes, not necessarily that you're merely investigating. I agree that the Anna sex thing is weird, but not that bad. So I think the manipulation of Anna and other women by you is what you should comment on. Okay. Um, I don't know what manipulation you're talking about. With Anna, I said, listen, uh, Lav just said that you've been sexting with Steven for a year. She has triggered a nuclear attack. Steven is about to attack us, and I need you to give me proof of that. You have to be so narcissistic to think you look good here. What are you saying? Bro, let me write your lies for you. You're being way too honest, like chill. Why would you say this out loud? This is not the way to go. Been sexting with Steven for a year. She has triggered a nuclear attack. Steven is about to attack us and I need you to give me proof of that. And keep in mind, up to this point, there was no nuclear attack. 
everything was calming down. I had unbanned Mr. Girl from my subreddit. I told Forethought to go through and unban a lot of his fans. Um, I don't know where Lav was at in terms of her ups and downs on stream, but literally, actually the last appearance that she had, I was even defending when she was with Anna and doing the shit. So, for, oh, and her stocks were almost a little up fighting ABBA on the anti-Semitism. So everything had chilled. There were no nuclear attacks coming. Nobody was going nuclear. Nobody was about to trash anybody. Like the last message that I'd gotten from Max was him saying the Daily Dot is doing like a profile on you. Uh, I'm gonna say that you're my friend and that people should watch your content. That was the last message that I got from him. Um, this is it. That's our last message. The Daily Dot is on a profile. I'm gonna say that you're my friend and that people should watch your content. Gotcha. That's it. Like, I don't know this idea that him creating this like doomsday scenario, it didn't exist. There was no anything coming. Steven is about to attack us and I need you to give me proof of that. I need, I need that. you to give me proof because without proof, he can discredit us. But you, you, Anna, you are the weapon that Steven uses to discredit women. No one wants to be an Anna. If you take that away from him and say, actually, he's been lying about Anna this entire time, then, then he can't do this anymore. It puts a stop to it. So I said, please give me a screenshot. I know this is scary. She said, can you do it without the screenshot? And I was like, I don't think so. I need the screenshot. We need to come forward. We need to do this right. We need to back up Lav because Lav has made a claim. And now we need to give her evidence to back up that claim or else she is going to get dogpiled. And I don't want to watch this happen to her. I don't want to watch it happen to you. I don't want to watch it happen to anybody. I want this to stop. So if that's manipulation, then sure. But I, I don't think it is. One Mr. thing Girl that's thinks, a little bit funny for parallels. <laughs> this is really psychopathic. I'm sorry. But one of the funny parallels is, do you remember like some of the things that ultimately ended up sinking Bob Seven is um, while he was relatively uh, smart, the people that he was surrounded with were not. And that I, in a way ended up being a lot of his undoing that some of the people around him were not as smart. And Mr. Girl here, while he's like doing the <clears throat> puppeteering of Lav, Lav went on that stream at night and went unhinged for like two hours. Max probably didn't want her to do that. I don't think Max wanted that to happen, but I don't know if Max wasn't able to walk her back from that or if they talked about it um, like beforehand or what, but um, yeah, he, he, Fucked up hard. Oh, and then apparently, yeah, uh, Max is trying to get into touch with Bob Seven. One suggestion I have is attacking this from another angle. One instance, Destiny didn't run me right way. Is Destiny found the time? So the Bob Seven situation played out. Yeah, I don't know how to get in touch with him. I'm trying. Alicia and Destiny. Okay. And Alicia and Destiny had com multiple conversations. We we already oh, know she was on? unapologetically herself, but Destiny was being as terrible as, and he said this himself, in order to have conversations with people like this, you have to be as, have to be as rigid in your charitability as possible in order to have a good conversation. And that builds rapport. And Why then the, later on, you can that's start... That's what I want to build rapport yeah, with, love. Yeah, <laughs> That's the value. Sorry, Stardust. The, no, no, no problem. Um, the thing with Lav is, um, you know, I, I feel like um, a lot of people have tried to be charitable with her. I've, I've tried to be charitable to her, even when she's like being super fucking nasty to me. Right. Um, uh, and at a certain point, um, at a certain point, like, it, you know, you can only do so much with charitability. You know, that, like when you have been charitable over and over. Steven got his hooks in me a long time ago, and I was too naive and arrogant to see it. He's been abusing me and many others for a long time. I will tell my story my own way. I understand many of you are disappointed and angry about what's happening, but it has to end.
Hannah says, poor Max manipulated by me somehow. Limeo. <laughs> Rip. I guess I'm the mastermind behind all of this, actually. I'm the puppet master, and I manipulated Mr. Girl and Lav, exclamation mark. Based. Is this the final season? Bro, every season is the final season. <laughs> until, until somebody kills me. <laughs> Jesus. Was Mr. Girl out to get you from the start? In context, not that he's trying to destroy you. Him trying to make you open up to him is kind of sus. No, no I don't think it was from the start. I think that something probably happened. Um, something probably happened over the... It was probably over the subreddit band stuff. I think that's what, like, turned him hard, I think. I think. And I think about who is actually being hurt the most by me coming forward with this information is my fiance who's now being called a cuck. People are messaging him crazy shit. People are being so f***ing mean to this person who has no f***ing stake in this stupid drama whatsoever. So now I've hurt someone that I love by coming forward with all this shit. It's all fucking horrible. And then for you guys also to entertain this video saying that I didn't have a heart attack when I did, that I had a GoFundMe scam. I mean, I know that you guys are looking for content, but get real you can't dehumanize me the way that you have it's insane we should not dehumanize each other like this to this fucking extent we can call each other retarded we can call each other stupid why why then why be public with anything <laughs> like i don't understand i don't know okay who cares all right give forethought a raise yeah i'm about to give forethought a demotion because he said he's about to go afk for a wedding or some dumb shit melina says reminder lav called me a cuck limeo <laughs> wait really Yes, the logs. God, this is so gross. Oh, God. My abuse is a fun inside joke until I speak out against destiny. Support the safe shale and fun today, and you can match your principled leader in thought and style. I also love this narrative that it's so hard to speak out against me. Like, bro, literally half the internet hates me there are literally destiny support groups okay that's very easy to speak out against me there are people that have built entire careers off of speaking out against me okay <laughs> she calls people cuck a lot but that's not her fiance's fault sad it is sad if people are damning her fiance that he seems like a cool guy from everything she's told me about him everything i've heard or seen about him he seems like a kind kind dude <laughs> i love this thread destiny one day lav will accuse you of rape the real kind <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, can oh. I, um... <sighs> yeah, what's up? How are you feeling after on. that conversation? Holy shit, Lycan's still in here. I didn't even know that. Well, I'm mad at you, Lycan, for oh, f sake. Oh, Lycan, you came in and you made a comment. What the fuck? You know, he made a comment at the worst time when I was, like, when, like, it was in the middle when I, like, said that, like, I was, like, close friends with you guys, and then I was, like, fuck, I was trying to clarify that it's, like, not sexual, and then the more you clarify, the more copium it looks, and then Lycan was, and like, Lycan why are you so defensive? It. Yeah. Bitch. You know, you know, I was just teasing. Yeah, but the well, problem but, is that <laughs> Lab is literally <laughs> screaming out that. like, Kelly, you're a whore. <laughs> it's like, well. <laughs> oh. I, th I feel like, I feel like, I think Lab is pretty fucked. I think her mind is going to be pretty over. <laughs> because I think she's got like enough people now that are reinforcing like every negative thought she has between Mr. Girl, like having his like claws completely dug in. And, um. Oh, yeah, God. Back yeah. in hell. It's, I just, I don't know why she was throwing Anna under the bus. That was. Well, I think that it's so, it's the funniest thing. I shouldn't say funny, but really the funniest thing about all of this is, um, I think that what happened was the same thing that happened with Cherry and Stardust to where they kind of start talking and then they start to get hyped up on some stuff and everything gets like completely fucked because um i think that anna probably said a couple things but they weren't anywhere near as dramatic as they were oh here's an example i keep giving i don't know if you're aware of this or not but 
Max has this idea in mind that I like get off to women being tortured on stream, right? Yeah, they like keep talking about like your sadistic kids yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah. like that and how they've like talked in deep. Like I was like, uh, Max and Max and you have talked in detail like personally about like your sadistic kink. And I don't, well, hold I don't on, know. I don't know if she sure. said. I didn't know she said that. That's not true um, because I don't have <laughs> I, a say. I don't have a sadistic kink, so I would know that if that's true or not. But like, okay, um, do you know where that comes from? No, no, I have no idea. Okay, I'm sorry. I just I have to keep because it's so it's interesting because now when I'm in the macro level, I can see how the telephone game gets played. Anna probably said to them, it seems like Steven enjoys watching you guys suffer on stream. And then they took that and they made it way, 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 way worse. But this is where, um, this is what Anna gets that idea from. It's because I sent her this message. <laughs> but hold on, to make it Wait, extra- I have seen this GIF before. Yeah, but to make it extra funny, I sent this exact same message to Lav. I'm not like secretly hiding this. I, it was when she was, and it wasn't even on my stream. It was on, um, it was when um, she was arguing on somebody else's stream with like five people. You need to get a new meme. Holy shit. You sent that to me when you were listening to the Hyundai debate. Oh, maybe, yeah. You need to fucking learn how to rotate your memes a little bit. Better. But like, yeah, so this message that I sent here um, is it basically translated to Anna to, I think Steven enjoys watching like you guys get tortured on stream into Mr. Girl and live thinking like, oh my God, he's made us feel really bad into Mr. Girl thinking like, holy shit, I think Destiny's developed this pattern where he brings women on stream, tortures them and he gets off from it. It's like some sexual sadistic thing or whatever, or a uh, masochistic thing, I'm sorry. Um, and that's like the, that's like the enjoyment that he gets out of it. No, 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 it's sadist, sadist. I'm, whoever cracked me in chat, you're fucking wrong. Yeah, he, I have the sadist here, but it's funny that like it, it all comes from this, yeah. One of the, if you guys ever want like a public thing and you can ask like Melina or anybody else about this, one of the <laughs> easiest ways to tell if people are lying about things I've said is I never, I almost never shit talk girls to other girls, like to anybody. Because if I've hooked up with somebody, I feel like it almost always reflects poorly on me if I start shit talking other yeah, people. Yeah, that's such a cringe yeah. move. Like when you're saying that he like the gossip. I have like the clip where she's like talking about yeah. like, all the shit talking. And then she's also, like, if I am, I just read her word and I was like, Stephen's a fucking. Idiot. Yeah, and if I start talking, what? if I start talking to another girl, and the first thing I start doing is shit talking other girls, they're not gonna trust me because oh well, if you're yeah. shit talking to her, you're probably shit talking to somebody else. Like I basically <laughs> never, ever, ever, ever do this. So if anybody in the future is ever leaking information, like oh yeah, Stephen was shit talking blah, blah blah. If it's a girl to another girl, that is almost never gonna be the case because I basically never do that unless like maybe I'm talking to someone else like oh yeah, like me and Lav disagree all the time, we argue blah blah, blah. but something like that but it's never gonna be like personally shit talking everybody i never do that but anyway yeah yeah um oh That's anyway crazy. yeah damn i feel like yeah i feel like lab's mind is pretty destroyed now i don't think she's gonna be able to pull out of that hole well <laughs> she'll probably be back in like a day or two yeah also um this okay this is something that has triggered me the most um especially because max and lab I had a higher expectation, <laughs> as sad as it is. I had a higher expectation for Lav because I've heard her talk about sexual dynamics. Um, I have no expectations for Max. Um, but there- Oh my gosh, listening to fucking Smith try to like talk about, God, I hate about, like, listening to, just, I hate listening to people who've clearly like not done like a fair bit of like sexual negotiation, like talk about it. It is so cringe yeah. where you're just like, you clearly have never, had these types of account. I don't know what to say. This yeah. is not how these well, without it getting work. like personal, yeah. But um, yeah, like when they're like talking about you like making digs and stuff, I'm like, it, uh, but isn't that like known that he like negs when he flirts? Like, yeah. I, I don't. Or that I neg everybody, even if I haven't done anything sexual with them, right? Um, but the um, the this is something that I, I guess I don't say this enough, but I, I try to say this a lot. A red flag is not a bad thing. And a power difference or dynamic is not a bad thing. Oh They're, my God. It's just like a, yes. yeah, it's just oh, like a, no. this is a cause for concern and maybe an area for further investigation. Right? Yes, so yes, like, yeah. yes. But, and greater responsibility. Like yep. if there's a power dynamic and you're aware that you're at the higher point, you have to take the lead on like making sure that the other person has maximized agency yeah. and that they're like, you're being extra cautious. Mm -hmm. Like that is true, which is why like most men try to be like extra cautious about like not making women feel uncomfortable well, like physically <laughs> around them. Yeah. But they should, they should, right? Yeah. Because there is that power dynamic but mm -hmm. power dynamics aren't bad they just make things messy and complicated so you have to think about well, it sure. and not even necessarily because every relationship has power dynamics there's always some like the man is usually physically stronger than the woman sometimes the um sometimes the woman is uh less into sex as the guy so there's like weird things like there's always going to be like dynamics and shit um like the entire time that's just the way that it is but um 
Yeah, it's frustrating because like every time, and we, I, when I talked to her last night, we talked for like an hour or two, and I was every time she said this, I would scream at her. She would always say like, "Well, I just think that a lot of the relationships you have are like really problematic." I was like, "What's the problem?" And she'd always retreat to this, "Well, like, isn't it kind of weird?" And I was like, "Yeah, it is kind of weird. I am pretty sexually active. That is pretty weird." Which is, by the way, that's a great cause for concern. And you'd be like, "Well, I'm gonna dig into this a little bit more," but that in and of itself isn't a problem. Like, you need more than that. You can't just like, "Oh, well, haven't you had sex with fans?" I was like, "Yeah, of course I do." But it's like, is something wrong or bad happening there? There could be, and you could go investigate, go fucking message all these people and talk to them if you want. Um, but there's not, but you can look for it. But just that in and of itself is not necessarily a bad thing, especially when yeah. they're saying that like you can't have sex with fans, you can't have sex with other streamers. You can't. It's like Jesus Christ. Like, what? Am I not allowed to fuck anybody? Like, or is it only normies that have like never heard of me well, before? Like, yeah, it's just this wild. This is part yeah. of their like weird conception of like like parasociality in general, where they're just like there's something transformative that occurs when a camera turns on somebody, and now suddenly you're not just a human, you're a, a streamer human, and you cannot engage with the normal plebs of normal humans. It's just like. Yeah. It's just fucking like Jesus fuck. Like even if they're a fan, like obviously again, there's a greater responsibility on you. You need to be making sure that yeah, you're being course. extra cautious and giving them greater agency to say no. Mm -hmm. Like all of these things are true, but it's not like just because they're a fan that you like, oh, God, it's just like, unless they're, you're in a world where there is codified practices about certain boundaries because oh. of, like, basically test and tried things like mm -hmm. for example doctors and, and professionals have codified practices for which power dynamics they can and cannot engage in mm -hmm. for good reason by the way that's yeah. valid like in the normal interpersonal world like these dynamics are not as clear or as codified and you like basically have to do the best with what you can and hope essentially that like if you're taking risks that you're being maximally uh, ethical as well yeah somebody in chat said this um just to uh wait boom boom uh Somebody said, Destiny, this, you can go investigate any messages, uh, whatever you want, is gonna get clipped by Max 100% to exonerate himself. I have no problem if people are like investigating me. That's fine, go for it. Like, I, like there's a lot of behavior that I have that's pretty erratic or abnormal. And there's like, just, I'm a big streamer, I expect it. There, I have no problem with people investigating me. The problem that I had with Max was him already instantiating that, that idea that I was basically a problematic rapist. Like if Max would have been talking to Doobie and Max had been like, hey, I'm kind of worried that like, um, that Steven is like engaging in weird behavior. Are there any streamer girls that, uh, that uh, I can talk to? That would have been fine, fine, fuck it, you know? Um, but that, but it's the fact that he already basically said that I was basically a rapist um, was fucked. And then it was also him reaching out to people that he shouldn't even know about that I've told him privately. And then when he reached out to those people privately, he told them the only reason he knew is because everybody knew, which was not true. There are sexual relationships that I've kept private. And when he reached out to other people and he lied to them and said, oh, well, like, you know, there's a ton of people that already know about this. Everybody's talking about it. And then they're freaking the fuck out because they think all of their shit's going to be like, that's up as well um but yeah that was kind of the annoying shit that yeah. well that, that that's like to be to me that is like the the worst part of all of this is like i would say so. abuse of trust like the, and like it's really tricky to talk about because all of the things that he did are all behind private things with private people with mm -hmm. private information that obviously i'm not going to talk about but like holy f like i i wish people could understand like how how disgusting specifically like that little bit that you outlined there like actually is like god it's so f it's so f this is why like i went from like having strong disdain to being like you know what warpath this motherfucker like this is so beyond the pale like you cannot unironically say i will never betray you and i like love you <laughs> and then, and then maximally betray me shit, like more than anyone ever like ever has and after demanding to be like vulnerable and emotional with you on stream and being like why don't you trust me and it's like yeah. you never should have that doesn't mean you shouldn't trust any friend, okay? Lycan's a good guy. You can trust Lycan. Amen, sister. Uh-oh. Uh, this goes back to the... Oh, sorry. Uh, th this goes back to, to uh, you know, somebody else observed... Oh, shit, it's Abba. Uh-oh, Abba. Wait, hey, Abba. Uh, Max, wait, wait, Max, wait. Uh, hold on real quick. I'm just making sure I'm not missing a... No, now that you guys have all realized that Abba was right all along, <laughs> and I saw that that man was absolute trash, garbage, I just want to take a quick little victory lap and enjoy my time in the sun. Even though Steven's hurting right now and I want to acknowledge your pain, I also want to just shine a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I, you can have like one victory head pat, but the whole situation is like really sad. Like maybe yeah. maybe I'm just going to be like the, the, the silly woman with the Fifi's, but at the end of the day, like it's just actually like really sad to me. Yeah, okay. and then they, one of the other- I was just saying, I was just saying- Instead of all these like soft little Fifi's, instead of all these like soft little Fifi's, 
Kyla, what do you think is the big takeaway from all this? What do you think, you know, people should leave <laughs> this conversation? Oh, okay, okay. Is Are you ready a- for this? <laughs> All right. Oh, it's going to be Number some one. cringe shit. God damn it. It is going to be exclusively cringe shit. Are you kidding me? Of uh, course. I'm a normie with feethies. I fucking love this shit. God. Okay. Number one, Steven, you got to pursue people. You can't just have people who pursue you as like friends and relationships because I'm going to be honest. Uh, like this is a problem actually that like my my best friend used to have is that like she's just kind of a person that people really like people always pursue pursue friendships with her and she realized at like some point in her life that all of her friendships like weren't overly deep she didn't know the level that she could trust them and that like they were like in many ways like very entitled toward her and she like couldn't understand why her relationship sucked and she realized like the biggest correction that she's ever done in her life for like relationships is switching to like picking people she thinks are worthwhile and pursuing those relationships and not just allowing people to kind of suck her them into their orbit and kind of like pursue her i actually genuinely think that that would improve your interpersonal like experiences by like at least 50 percent mm. cringe cringe okay steven what do you think the biggest takeaway from all this is uh i'm gonna start i'm gonna go back to I I always, I've created a lot of shards of myself in my early life and I'm trying to become a better person by changing up, but now I'm just incorporating past versions of myself. I'm a pretty good mind reader. I'm gonna go back to mind reading people harder and not give them as much of a chance to f around. So if I see somebody's got like a ton of red flags at the start, I'm actually gonna lean into that a little bit. I'm gonna be like, you know what, motherfucker, you're actually kind of f***ing weird. I'm actually gonna rely on my gut a little bit more rather than my prior attitude of like, I'm gonna give everybody a fair shot and see what they're like, okay? I'm gonna probably lean into my gut feelings a little bit more and call them out at the beginning. I'll probably do So that. is that what you think you f***ed up, Steven? You think what you f***ed up on is you didn't trust your gut feeling enough? Uh, absolutely, yeah. Because there's like, there were a ton of red flags for Max at the start for a variety of reasons, and those continue to pop up, but my general gist with people, and this I've had this pattern repeat a lot with a lot of shady people in the past, is usually what I say is, listen, even if you f*** other people over, any crazy shit's happened, I'll give you a fair shot. If you f*** me over, I'm not gonna talk to you anymore, but as long as you don't f*** me over, we're cool. Um, but, but that, that usually well, is... Do you not see how that's kind of stupid? Is what's kind of stupid? If you don't observe the way that they treat other people, especially people who have less power than them, how would you not take that into consideration very strongly? It's not a matter of me them? observing other people. If I can observe somebody, I'll use that. It's that usually when we're in the public sphere, we're not directly observing, we're relying on other people's observations. And the reality is, is that like, I hope, and I could be wrong, but I hope that from our personal interactions off stream and on stream, you think I'm like a decent, like I'm not gonna fuck you over or do anything weird like that. But depending on the YouTube compilations you watch of me, I'm like an unhinged sociopathic fucking lunatic that will throw you under the bus as soon as I can make a penny. And I'm also racist and sexist and maybe a rapist and maybe a pedophile and maybe a pedophile rapist. So if those things exist about me on the internet, maybe they exist about other people. That's why I'll always say, like, oh, I'll give you a fair shot. I won't go by the hip piece or whatever. But yeah, if I directly observe I, I, somebody being weird, then of course I would rely on those direct observations. I, I, I reject that notion. I reject that notion because I've watched you know, a lot of long form content mm -hmm. and I don't think I've ever seen you act in a way where I'm like, these dudes insane i'd watched enough max streams to know that that dude was bad shit crazy and a terrible human being you just so haven't seen the hit pieces on me dude that, what's that you just haven't seen the hit pieces uh, but, people but have made hit, on me yeah a hit piece is not the same thing as the own streams that max puts out listen that once he did that one video with him and shaylin, shaylin. bro i don't know how you guys didn't throw that dude in the trash like that i said i get people bizarre. listen because there are things that could exist on the other end that maybe it explains it i don't know it's possible no 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 listen this is one of the most like efficient ways to weed out crazy and up people you look at how they treat other people in long form by their own word not hit pieces or nothing like that but you just watch them if you're doing it online but if you don't have that opportunity then you watch the way that they treat their friends and family absolutely because at the end of the day steven you're somebody who has things to offer other people so the way that they're going to interact with you is not a real reflection of their character sometimes because they stand to gain from you so that's not something you can rely on. You should be using all these different parameters to judge people on. That's like a basic friend skill. If I'm hanging out with a dude and we cool, but he's out here beating his girlfriend, treating his daughter like garbage, and then treating his family like shit, yeah, you're, you're a garbage person should be discarded. I would not keep you around as a friend. And you have to have yeah, that kind I, of if, if, if you can make those observations, but I'm not, it's to be truthful, like I can't rely on that online. I don't know what him and Shaylin's relationship look like behind closed, behind closed doors. I don't know that, right? I can't. Okay, I can okay. go by the videos and shit I see, but like, I don't know how much is an act from her versus not, or what is or isn't. It's hard for me to know. Like, I just can't. I can't know that 100. But like in the future, I'll probably just lean into like it looks really bad, and I'm just gonna assume it's really bad unless they give me contrary evidence. Like, so in the future, when I see the Max shit, like I would probably be like, I'm gonna need to see some videos of some shit from your girlfriend because I don't trust that this is an ultra 
fucking abusive. Because now I'm like 99% sure it is. And back then I was like 85% sure it is because I think I called the behavior abusive, but I didn't call him abusive. But like I said, I'm usually willing to extend a lot of charitability to people. Um, but okay. yeah, I probably just won't as much. And, and, and I think that's one of the ways that you might be very peculiar. Because I think if I show that same video to 99% of people, they're going to be like, this dude diddles kids or he does something crazy. Like that's all they're going to take away from that. Because that's all you really can get away from the vast majority of people. Yeah, like, I... I, I I understand. I just want you to understand Mm -hmm. the way that you're filtering in your mind is so drastically different than other people. And if you're getting worse outcomes oftentimes, which seems to be the case, um, there might be something about those filters that you're using that are inefficient. Yeah, so I... Wait, 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 hold on, wait, wait, wait. I 100% Mm -hmm. disagree. I do agree that interpersonally, it definitely winds up with some weird shit and maybe we're stuck most of the time. But that filter, I think, has literally given me the edge when it comes to analyzing, like, breaking news stuff or online content. Like, I was the only person that didn't immediately jump on the Rittenhouse thing and I was 100%. Like, there have been a lot of cop videos that come out that I don't jump on immediately 100% and I end up being vindicated completely on those videos so like the ability to look at something and say i don't have the full story here so what let's wait for a moment before jumping to conclusions i think is a rare thing that i possess and i think that's advantaged me quite a bit when it comes to political analysis now maybe applying interpersonally that's not like the best thing to do oh the prime kai situation as well with somebody that i don't i don't know if you know anything about that but uh, i saved i brought a black dude back from the brink of false rape allegations okay completely saved his life okay um and yeah that was well, only because of, yeah go ahead yeah the examples you're giving me are not analogous there's a giant difference between a two-hour stream that this man edits and puts out himself that he curates and something like splices and clips from other stuff or video footage of a Rittenhouse case or news coverage that's not the same thing I'm talking about content in long form where you're doing discussions with your own partner that's a completely different thing so these examples that you're using I'm glad that you have that analytical mind but when you it's like when someone gives me a me too story a woman gives me a me too story and I'm reading her version of events and her version of events makes her sound sus i'm gonna look at her sus yeah of right? course because yeah. she's not telling me the other person's account she's telling me her own account and you look like the rapist in this thing so you have to take that to strong consideration and there's enough streams where this guy's put stuff out where i'm like bro this dude's pretty much like if he's not a serial killer he's something terrible anyways why would you want to keep a person around like that so i just want you to appreciate there was something there that made you bypass that and whatever that is is i think we're the real focal point of this because the same thing could be extrapolated to why you kept lava around okay because i took one look at her and i'm like this bitch and and i'll be honest with you i don't have that same feeling about anybody else in your orbit those two in particular are the ones that i zoned in on and from the very two first two seconds i'm like these are terrible people so i i, I just think the filters that you have are inefficient because i see you okay well i'm not going to speak too long but yeah that's what i'm going to say Okay. Yeah, I mean, I understand what you're saying, but I think that generally I'm pretty insulated from most harm. Like most people can't really hurt me just because there's not much out there that they can with. And I think that it maximizes the amount of entertaining people that I bring into my life. And that's fun too. So, but I mean, okay. at some point if I end up getting f***ed over, I'd probably like, oh, okay, f- maybe I need to change, change up on but that's this. But that's the second factor. We, you and I had a conversation, even though it was done in a joking tone. Mm-hmm. You're like, one of the main reasons I keep these two around, even though I know they're extremely manipulative and they gaslight me from time to time, is because it's fun and entertaining. Do you think that is the best filter by which you should choose to keep people around you? I mean, as long as I'm not actually getting Ace. destroyed. Yeah, I do think it is. I like that. I like fun and entertaining Ace, people. Ava. Especially but, but, when they're trying to f*** me but, over. But, but, it, it's important to note because listen at the end of the day live your life how you want to live but sometimes these like hedonistic pursuits be it sexual or just kind of pleasure from people enjoying fun can turn to bite you in the ass because the people who may bring you fun it's like being a crazy bitch it's great everybody always memes about how the sex is great but then you regret it afterwards because she turns your life upside down she starts stalking you she does other stuff i understand it can be pleasurable but it's a different thing when it jeopardizes your career and you lectured me okay about i don't care about an issue if i don't vote i would argue you don't care that much about your platform if you're willing to jeopardize it be below the around with people you consider there are pe- there are things that i know that will jeopardize my career and those are things that i try to move away from this is not one of those things there is no chance i'm ever getting banned from youtube over like videos like this ever the trans stuff was a lot more sweatsuit and i realized that there's a reason why i moved away from covering like that type of related stuff if something is legitimately a threat to my career i tend to back off but like stuff related to max is never like threatening me ever that's not possible do you, do you, do you think the aggregate of all these kind of scenarios revolving around you at some point is going to lead to a bad outcome um i actually think that people tend to forget and move on like pretty quickly like i don't think i've had anybody in my recent orbit like bring up like the bob seven stuff or like the aria nina stuff or like any there's been like a lot of random things like a lot of new fans don't even know about but um 
No, I don't. I don't think so. But I think in general, it's because I'm not like doing anything wrong or fucking in these situations. I think usually it's the case. Okay. But, right. I, but I, I understand. Listen, I understand what you're saying. Like 99% of cases, like I would agree. Um, I think that my lifestyle is a little bit unconventional. I acknowledge that. Um, and I think I do get into more uh, trouble with people <laughs> than most people. And I acknowledge that. And there's a lot of crazy people that are not only self-destructive, but destructive towards me in my life. And I acknowledge that. I'm just, I understand it. I understand the ramifications. And I'm here to enjoy that. To enjoy the chaos. I get, I, I get that. I understand that you may not think there's a risk. I disagree. And I think there's not a risk until it's too late. And so I would just tell you that you need to recognize that whilst a lot of this is fun and enjoyable, it may put your shit in jeopardy. And if you care about this platform, I think you have to be a little bit smarter because some of the stuff you're engaging in is not fun that you had to miss out on or whatever it is. It's like really gratuitous stuff that honestly should be avoided. And I think if you were giving advice to anybody else that wasn't you, you would say you shouldn't do that. And so I'm just saying this, you care about this platform, you're a force for political change. You shouldn't jeopardize it by a, engaging with people who are clearly this crazy that they go on these campaigns. Cause like right now it's fine. Mr. Goldman can turn it up a notch. He can turn it up a bunch of notches. He can start targeting advertisers. If he gets enough attention from YouTube, you never know what might happen. So all this stuff is fine till it's not. And I'm just saying you should insulate yourself from some of it because of it's, it's unnecessary to some degree in the name of fun. But again, it's not my place to tell you what to do. I'm just, just uh, my, my perspective on the outside. Because we can talk about Mr. Girl being a bad person. We can talk about Lav being incredibly manipulative and then crying victim with her husband. I, I don't care about current f her life. But the truth is, what are the things you can do to protect yourself in the future? And that's all I always think about these kind of circumstances. Okay. All right, babe. I got gotcha. you. All right. And we're going, we're, going, uh, we're going skating tomorrow, bro. Okay. I love you. I'll see you all then. Right. Be careful. All right. Peace. Steve, you said there were some things at the beginning, some red flags, and you said you had reservations or concerns or, or like your hackles went up a bit. Like, can you talk about what those were and what you thought the potential was? For red flags? <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I covered most of them yesterday. That oftentimes people that present themselves as being very emotional. Um, oof. Wait, is Kyra still here? Fuck it. Yeah, Kyra. Oh, Kyla. Shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, okay, she might get really triggered over this. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm trying to say this in the least triggering way possible. People that are very emotional to me always throw up a lot of red flags because 99% of the time, those things are used as a conduit for being extremely manipulative. That's not to say that every time somebody gets emotional, they're being manipulative or, yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying it happens every time. And there are certain contexts where it's definitely appropriate and I understand it. But when I see people who are emotional in public settings and they're using it during challenging conversations and they never create space for themselves to like figure those emotions out, but they're kind of like utilizing them in a conversation. That's probably one of the single biggest red flags that I've ever found in my entire life when I deal with people. If that ever happens to me interpersonally, I leave. Uh, I leave. I, I, I don't talk to those people anymore ever. Uh, but that was like probably one of the biggest things I saw from Mr. Girl early on is the presenting yourself as being like very emotional because oftentimes when you do that, you're giving people this false sense of idea that you're kind of like out of control and they need to take care of you and blah, blah, blah. And you can lead them around like that a ton. Yeah. Uh, I just wanted to comment on the bringing back straws of yourself and pushing more and not giving people so much leeway. I just think that I don't think you have detrimented from that at all or suffered in any way from doing that. And you've been detrimented from what? From uh, from from high roading the whole time and giving people like maximal benefit of the doubt. Yeah, but the problem is that all these f***ing people around me all, are all convinced that I'm like dying on the inside. Like Kyla, Melina, everybody else is convinced it on well, the inside. I'm like, it, well, because then well, while my viewers think it too, like everybody thinks I'm on like some giant cope and inside I'm like dying and suffering and I just like need a hug and a shoulder to cry or whatever. When at the end of the day, like like I said, I'll sleep and I'll wake up and none of this shit bothers me. And in two days, none of us, nobody's gonna be talking about it anymore. We just move on to the next thing. But. I yeah, I mean, this would be my, my, my Kyra's conception, you fucking asshole. Um, mm. Which is like, I think I think we can like will little parts of ourselves out and be highly functional and at work and not miss it and kind of like like it. Like I, I, I think that that existence is very possible, uh, right? So like when I'm saying that like there's this like part of you that you could access that would like probably give you like more joy or like more meaning in your life. I mean that, but I also realize that like I'm not saying that there's like this 
um, gaping deep wound that you're just like not sharing with us, right? Like I, I actually believe you when you say like, I'm functional and happy. I'm saying, I believe you. I just think that there would be more. And I think like part of this, like kind of like almost hedonic treadmill that like of like entertainment that you run on is like, I, I think I've described this to you before. Like I, I really view it as like a cup with like holes in it. And that, that it's not like in this like romanticized, like ooey gooey, like, ugh, like at night you're just like crying and be like, I wish somebody could just fill me up and I need the Lord or anything. I just think that like, when when we're like constantly seeking like to be like filled and maintained from like external stimuli uh, that's like a flag to me that something's going on but i also think that you couldn't actually like even begin to explore accessing those parts and still be in this space like i think it is beyond a necessity i don't think you can actually go there if sure maybe i understand Here, like these are there it. are there are a few things in my life that ha in my early life that gave me like competitive peaks okay one was auditioning and winning auditions for things mm -hmm. related to Allstate Band in high school. Mm -hmm. Like competition like that, doing a killer audition where you destroy it and you walk out in the hallway and you see the other kids and like, fuck, I gotta audition after that guy. That felt really good. Opening the letters when they reveal who gets first chair, who gets first part or whatever, that felt really good. Later on, StarCraft competitions, like performing well in some tournament game or playing even in a tournament game or like winning ladder games at the top of the ladder against really famous players. These are like awesome competitive moments. Now that I've kind of like drifted out of those competitive scenes, obviously I don't compete in saxophone in high school anymore and I don't compete in StarCraft. Um, now that I've drifted out of that, like the only other thing that seems to satisfy like kind of that competitive high is is the idea of like really dramatic people that are trying to destroy my life. Like that's just, it's a, the navigating through that terrain, it's very like dynamic. There's a ton of stuff going on, a lot of variables, um, but yeah. it's also like pretty contained. Like the stories are pretty linear. Like there's only a few players usually active that are the main characters and then other alternating people. There's like storylines that you can follow. Like, and then you have to navigate all of this in a way that there's gonna be an outcome. Like that's just, that, that's so, just very exciting and fun to me. It's just like super, yeah, I don't know. You said you had, you remember the Bob Seven thing? You said forethought saved, or not forethought, um, uh, August. August saved yeah. your ass. Yeah. Like, what if you hadn't had had him? You know I what I mean? Been like, destroyed. We had to find some other way to, to navigate it, I guess. Yeah. Well, but it would have right. been rough. You were, <laughs> right. You're good. Like, you were good because of that. But mm -hmm. the, I think the point that everyone is making is that if you hadn't had him, you might have been fucked. That might have been the one. Is that risk not something you take into consideration? Yeah, it is. But I mean, like, do you just have to be better? Uh, that's why I started recording a whole bunch of my conversations it's why i'm a little bit more careful about who i talk to like that's but i mean like that's yeah that's all you can do but otherwise like um i mean what supreme said thank you supreme you're my my inner thought is that like the reality is that i love engaging with a lot of crazy wild people like having analicious in here with lav defending her fighting against like all these other people is like that's some insanely entertaining content it only works because i trust to some extent these people to come on and share that space and you will only find that space i think in a place like this that's not completely fucking degenerate because i'm trustful enough to have these people on here but i'm smart enough to not like let them be spamming slurs at each other like those types of interactions are really entertaining and i think that's only the product of the type of mind that i have that i can deal with all the drama that i enjoy all the crazy situations but like i'm reasonable enough to have it like not be a nazi racist kind of thing or whatever but right but those people are, are aren't people that you're engaging with in with such an intense regularity and depth whereas there are other people that are so i think there's a kind of like a little difference between what you cited there and like some of these other people you're dealing with that actually well live was part of you. that group but like um yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, normally, I wouldn't engage with people so personally, but I only did Max and Lab because <laughs> Kyla told me you need to start making closer real life friends. And I'm like, uh, okay. don't even try. To throw me <laughs> I guess I'll start talking to people, people more. Like, Lab and Max. Hold on. Close friends doesn't mean going to people where I would be like, ah, I'm not sure that those are the most trustworthy people. Like uh -huh. Max and Lav, I like Lav. I don't like Max. I don't know if either of them would be the people I'd be like. Those are probably like the first people that you should try out like doing friendship with. You know. Um, um, well, I also, I, picked, I also picked other I, I, people, I, I, too, and there were a lot of others that worked well. You and your husband are two of them. So, I mean, like, it was kind of a scatter shot, and I ended up, like, I'd say, like, 70-30. They ended up, like, really well. So, that is true. I'll be I'll be you proud know, of you. Yeah, but hopefully you can at least remember my name in the fucking future if you want to. That's one pro tip for friendship. You just have a very weird name, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I just specifically want to comment on the whole, like, I'm going to start reading minds again. I don't know how serious you are about that, but in this particular exchange between you and Max, I just feel like um, that's one of the most respectable things that you did was refrain from that at all costs. And it's one of the biggest pieces of criticism that Max consistently received was like doing that. 
and, and making these accusations based on inference. And I think it's one of the most base things you do. And I just personally, yeah, but there's, Ella. yeah, I understand that, but I think there's, you benefit. there's the, there's a problem there is that I can actually figure out how somebody feels based on inference because I'm a social human being who's not autistic or schizoid max cannot be thinks or you so. can get a read on it and you entertain yeah but the problem that. is max doesn't get reads on people max is narcissistic so max is the person that says i think that you're feeling this way because that's the only possible way that i can understand your actions max doesn't right. make inferences on other people's behavior also another thing i'm willing to update other people's states of mind based on new information that i right. receive like oh i changed my mind max will never doubt. max will never change his state of mind or, uh, what he had perceives another person's state of mind to be so i think that when we do do it or if i do engage in it it's not gonna be the same way that he does where he like, talks to somebody for five seconds like i think you're uncomfortable because you're not opening up to me completely blah 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 it's like okay that's kind of cringe but i don't want to see you change and i think the formula you've had has been working really well that's all just don't let the crazies interact with each other that would fix it no just are only you one crazy per time what are you kidding do you see what spun out of this jesus christ i'm not like sure a hurricane. it was a good thing oh what makes you say so it was the trifecta of crazy. I don't know, man. It's been good for everybody. That is Except true. For the it has been. For them. <laughs> it has been. It has been good content. That is true. I, th I think that I think the like difference when like talking about that emotional person stuff that like when I think about it, is like when you're looking for like friends and people that are like trustworthy. I think the the thing that you're flagging is not just emotionality, but it's like. Um, dysregulated emotionality, right? Like when I look at Max, for example, where he's like, I can never change my emotion and I must tell people immediately when I'm like angry. I'm like, you're not like, you're emotional. I get it, but you're being like pretty dysregulated in it. Like that's not exactly like the top tier, like healthy re emotional regulation that I would recommend to most people, right? Like emotionality can be a really valuable asset. It just has to be like done it like, it, it just has to be contained. Like, this is why like some of like the most like brilliant people in the world are like deeply emotional people. They just like regulate and like express their True. emotions in like healthy ways. Like my good friend, Lex Friedman, who I'm very close with now. Yeah, he says the same yeah. thing, of course, yeah. <laughs> you know, I was hanging out, we were talking about, you know, all the important people in the Bonding. world. And yeah, he told me that, yeah. You, Lex, and Ben? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yay and Trump, you know, we were all hanging out. We got dinner when I was in Austin last, you know. Ooh, did Nick come? Um. Did he or can he? Oh, Nick Fuentes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know if you would remember my husband, your friend's name. So. Yeah, Nick actually, uh, he did show up, but um, I didn't even know he was going to be there. Yay invited him, so. Mm. Just kidding. In a video game, guys. Yeah, so. Uh, That's why Dan couldn't go. True. Uh, yeah, I, I do. I agree with ABBA. This, like, it's all for content feels like a bad barometer. Um that's but. true but like i mean like i can ask and i ask this at the end of every drama it's gonna happen at the end of this one I'll, and I'll ask at the end of the next one like none of these people have done like long-term like psychological or emotional or career damage to me i don't think do you think well i i guess i would ask have any of these people had long-term psychological emotional trauma or trauma as a result of it <laughs> listen that's on them okay that's for them to figure out Especially if their their game is showbiz, like I feel like it's a consistent thing, right? Like every time stuff like this has happened, it's because people like are in the showbiz realm and they don't get their way, and then they just start imploding. It depends if Max is going to make twenty videos about it with his name. Uh, he will. Happen. He is definitely. He's going to go the Doctor K ideal. route. Yeah, that's pretty annoying. But the only scary thing I don't like revealing this because it's you don't want to tell people how to beat you. But the only thing that is ever scary is um. There are certain types of people that you never want to pick up as anti-fans. And Max is one of those types of people. Like people that will be so unhinged, they'll follow you to the ends of the earth. So that's a little shitty. But um, I mean, he got tired of the Dr. K shit. He'll probably get tired of me eventually. But Him also. or the sort of, I think, fan base he tends to acquire. Yeah. That's true. I guess, yeah, I, I think why I find like this emotionality stuff such a like big cope is um, I basically just don't like, don't fully believe you. Like for example, like the fact that you had to like smoke before you went on stream. I think you like were distressed. Um, I, like, well, yeah, they're always stressful. Hold on. Don't, yeah, but, don't, like, wait, 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 don't uh, misunderstand. Hold on. Don't uh, miss, wait, wait. I hate how you paint yourself publicly because it's just like, well, it's just, just don't, like, don't, just don't misunderstand what I'm saying. I'm not, if you ask me, are you ever stressed in situations? Yeah, of course I am. But that's like part of the excitement for me. Of course it's stressful. If I fumble the ball on here, or if there were like three women that I fucking raped that I forgot about or some shit and Mr. Girl would, I left their perms on so they could join in for that. Imagine Mr. Girl, Mr. Girl came in and he's like, there are two women, this woman and this woman that you actually did sexually 
sexually assault. And I'd be like, oh shit, I'm fucked, right? I let him in that room though to say his piece. That's exciting shit, but it's also very stressful, but it's still fun. But the stress is part of the enjoyment, right? Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just, I I feel like you get construed by yourself on stream as like this cold, heartless person. Maybe that's all you are, uh, but. He doesn't have to be cold and heartless just to be relatively unaffected by this. Like, I, mm, I don't know. I feel like I'm the only one that believes him. And he says this. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. True and base. Oh. Kelly and Hold Supreme. I, yes. I fully believe yeah, you. Yeah, enable me. <laughs> Hold on, your behavior privately flies in the face of that. Like you're actually decently caring. You check in with people. I like, do. do I'm a caring things. person. Yeah, yes. I agree with that. Of I course. just, I just want to like make oh. it clear that like both of these things are occurring at the same time. Sure, they so are. When you self-describe, the reality is that like people are gonna walk away being like, "Wow, what a fucking like psychopath." But like that, the there's more to this picture. Yeah, right? of course. And I said that I don't, I don't remember if I leaked those DMs with Lab or not. But like, as soon as Lab started to show up on stream more, I literally explicitly talked to her and I was like, "Hey, I know that we've been sexual in the past, but like, none of that has anything to do with you coming on stream. Like, it's always cool if you don't want to, whatever, blah blah blah." Like, like I have these conversations explicitly. And I noticed this when I was fighting with Lab yesterday. She'd levied this criticism a lot at me before. You've never checked in on me. You never checked on me. When we were arguing last night, I actually went through my DMs. I actually did check in on her, and it was when the subreddit was at its worst. I DM'd her. Was like, "Hey, are you okay? There's pretty tumultuous." Right and she told me. She She's like, yeah, I'm fine. It's just the internet. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, that's cool. Like, I did my homework. I checked in. I made sure everything was okay. Like, I have conversations. Like, but if people are gonna lie to me or try to manipulate me, which is arguably what mm -hmm. she did, then I mean, fuck. At some point, like, bro, I can't. Like, I'm taking care of a lot of feelings out here. Okay. And these are people that are at the same time, one, taking advantage of my platform. They are getting a lot of publicity, and two. Um, they're causing me to risk some of my credibility to some extent. And nobody ever talks about the other end of that dynamic there because I have a lot of credibility on the line when I come out and I defend people like Max and like Lav, right? Yes. There are gonna be people in the future that when I say like, oh, I think this guy's a pretty good person, I think this person's okay, they're gonna be like, well, what about Max? What about Max? And that's a fair criticism, you know? Maybe I should have leaned in harder to that. And people won't talk about the the credibility hit that I might take when I stake some reputation and say like, no, I think Lav can contribute to a discussion well, or I think Max can contribute to a discussion well when they come in here. So like, I'm, I'm risking a bit too when I bring these people on my stream. A lot actually, because there are people that would never platform Mr. Girl. That happened a lot. I was the only one that was willing to do that. I don't know how many mm -hmm. other large platforms would, would uh, platform lab, but I'm also willing to do that. So, I mean, like, yeah, it goes both ways. Like, they always talk about what they have at risk and blah, blah, blah. But truthfully, at the end of the day, Lab always talks outside of both sides of her mouth. She's like, oh, like, uh, I'm risking everything by coming here, blah, 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 blah. But then in the next stream, she'll be like, I'm not at any risk at all. My husband makes 500000 a year and I could go back to Patreon and I don't even have to work to be okay. And it's like, well, what is it, motherfucker? Because I risked up by having you guys on yeah sorry and also begging not to have any consequences and just accept her for who she is or whatever yeah going back to your you and your situation what you might have to deal with you remember the n-word arc and how long that <laughs> how could i forget yeah right so but you kept engaging with it and like it wasn't it was about until six after letters the, long yeah it, it wasn't until after the fact you're like this is fucking me and th there have been a few arcs like that do you see this as one where maybe you should go radio silent on it until something is really worth addressing just so that no i had to say something in advance for this no no I now you do them. yeah, yeah. No, no no now you do or you did mm -hmm. but do you think now you can like step back we all just stop yeah of course well i said that. originally i didn't even want to do anything today on it but then dan drove a conversation this morning and then lab talked to someone on stream i was like okay fuck it we'll do day two of it but yeah this is not something i'd want to draw i really didn't even want to talk about today but um past today it'll probably be done just because like any conversation that revolves around like a uh, content creator fucking fans or streamers is uh, there's always going to be like that weird predatory bend that people are worried about um so there's like no reason to seriously engage with that hardcore you know uh, i like had to have the conversation over and over and over and over and over again on stream like it, do it does nothing but damage to you yep so maybe we should talk about ukraine uh well you know we're on our last day i have to leave my stream in like 55 minutes so did we talk about the saint the center guy yet? yeah we did all right are you actually swearing off friends or was your post mostly no that was a meme when i swore off relationships a long time ago i mean even then like like making friends with somebody like Lav or Mr. Girl in the future, I don't get the sense. The reason that I feel like okay to enable you about this and I don't feel totally concerned about the level of stress you feel is that we've seen what meltdowns look like before and you just don't exhibit any of the signs of like major stress that follows you to bed or whatever the fuck, you know what I mean? Like keeps you up at night. True. You got a full head of brown hair. Yep. You know, you're not like melting down on stream every day. Absolutely. People are having these Hold on. I don't think that this is stressing him out. I also fully believe, I also fully believe, I believe all of these things. What I'm saying is, I think there are like things that will enrich your life and make you laugh. Like it, it's literally the question of like, I, I wonder if there's something that could shift in your life that would help you like find your joy. Like just like in that movie. And you, you don't you have to. Huh? Does he need yeah. more joy? Does he not have enough? 
I don't know. They don't I think like I have the right. They don't think I have yeah. the right kind of joy. <laughs> you don't have the right joy. <laughs> they don't. They think I need like some other type of. Oh no. Yeah, I've been like, here for six years. We're still okay. That's something. Well, I saw you grinning ear to ear listening to that chud combo like you're on fucking cocaine. So <laughs> yeah, but like having fun isn't the me. same thing as like having like rich like like meaning within your life. Like having access to all of the colors uh, of life. And like maybe maybe I'm alone because I feel like I'm talking to like three people who maybe won't necessarily understand. three based individual. Okay, but listen, yeah. what about what about all the colors that I have access to that other people don't? Okay, because there's a lot of colors on my palette. Erudite. Well, I would say like no. What I would actually say is like if you don't have access to all the other colors, then the, the colors that you do have are going to be like more striking and like stand out, and you're going to use them a little bit more. You're going to become like excellent with them, which is base. It's fucking tr cool, and this is why you excel in the space. I'm in no way trying to like do this weird thing where I'm saying that like deep down you're hurting and whatnot. What I'm saying though is that like there is a barometer of like friendship that probably you like need to like probably improve because there are like. F there are relation like relationships seem to be like the fundamental thing that like gives people meaning in their life and you have those but i wonder i wonder and i wonder sometimes if like you're missing part of the colors of like what you're being a bit of a max rich. right now kyla i gotta admit Ooh, i gotta say do, you are being a do bit of a max not right even now. <laughs> not even come close to saying that are you fucking kidding me Ooh, that's kind of true actually Hold on, no, I am not asking I know what's for right anything for you, from Steven. you. That is I'm true, she's telling me to change no, no. my behavior to fit her, really mo her mental Wait, model of me. Up. I know we're memeing, but also think about like what that accusation actually is. Like, no, I'm not making an ask of you. If you're content with it, that's totally fine. I, I still just like you as your friend. I'm basically saying, I wonder sometimes if there's more that you could find in your life. And that's true for lots of people. Um, Good. Yeah, and I just, I just want you to find your joy, just like everyone else. Okay. I guess I'm curious how much of when you found out that the stuff was going on with Max, because I know like you really have gone out on a limb for him more than 99% of people you've ever had like in your channel or in this space or whatever it seems like. Uh -huh. uh, how much of how much of like how much emotional hurt was there, and how much of it was like this? I like how much of it was like I saw this coming, or or what what sort of emotions were you feeling? I feel like it happens so much. It's kind of like a meme at this point. Like it was almost like funny. Like. This guy, really, the one that is running like the beta test of my website, the one that is uh, that like I literally solo pulled from the the sludge of nothingness and like basically platform, like that's pretty funny. I don't know, I thought it was pretty funny, but I mean it's also pretty stupid too. Like I feel like this is kind of dumb. I can't really believe this is happening. Like I've personally vouched for this guy so hard, it seems pretty insane that he would do this. But like your tire goes flat again, the sort of like <laughs> what again? Like are you kidding? Like that sort of thing or what? I mean, it's pretty radical that, like, unprompted, there was no reason for him to do this, you know? Like, what's even happening, you know? He's salty. He clearly... Yeah, I know, but it's, like, so dumb, because I'm technically, like, his last lifeline to the world. People don't make smart decisions when they're that emotional. Oh, I know, they actually... just see, like, red. That's I, all he is. Clouded vision. I had the perfect prediction, actually. I spoke earlier uh, on a stream a long time ago about how uh, usually when people do this type of shit, they're not like really thinking rationally. They actually think they're just they think they're always they're always the good guy and they're doing it for some noble cause, um, and that's why they always ultimately end up like backstabbing me. Uh, but it's funny because that was a conversation I was having with Max. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, you gave him the idea. He's the good just, guy. Another, it's another account of abuse. You fucking incepted the idea and made him do it. Possibly. You made him turn his back on oh, his I'm so only sick of friend. the word abuse at this point. Speaking of abuse, is it the same thing to call someone a stupid bitch as it is a dumb whore? <laughs> one of the things, oh, okay, hold on. Now that I'm being more critical <laughs> okay. of Lav too. One of the things okay, that triggers, yeah. one of the things that triggers the out of me with Lav is that um, when it was private that we hooked up, um, for her to constantly say that like the sexual dynamic makes things weird, I don't like the sexual dynamic, blah, 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 blah. Now she's only saying that now, by the way. She never ever said that in the past. But it's the fact that she always throws that in other people's faces. That fucking drives me crazy. She did it a ton with every fucking woman that came in here, and she was doing it to Kelly Jean on your screen. Oh, you're just an OnlyFans <laughs> whore looking for clout. And it's like, bro, come the fuck on. Like, how are you gonna complain in one breath that like sexual dynamics make a thing so confusing and blah, 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 and then like throw that shit in other women's faces? Like, so fucking irritating to me. Holy shit. To be fair, I did wind her up on purpose. I knew that she would explode, and I thought it would be funny, and it was funny. Well, But it's the first time I've been called retarded and a whore by someone that is a retarded whore. Okay, chill. Time. Stop. Whoa. Okay. Stop. Right. Stop. Okay. Stop. 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 <laughs> Stop. Wasn't the point of bringing that up. I'm a little misogynist <laughs> again. in there. I said that wasn't the point this of bringing that up. This is all I can smell again. 
Just Typical. go take sexy pool photos, okay? We are me. What objectifying me? Sorry. I can't help it. Did she leave? No, Supreme left. <laughs> the ironic thing about Lav saying that to Kelly Jean is that Kelly Jean doesn't even show as much as Lav does. Trust me, I've checked. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Good. Thank you. Uh, okay. Thanks, Taylor. Okay. Who hasn't? <clears throat> okay, thank you. Good job, guys. We made it weird very quick. Good job. I just don't, I just don't like it because this is like not the vector in which I think it's fair to like attack Lev. So. Yeah, that's true. Oh, it wasn't fair, but it was funny. Well, well, yeah, and a little, let's be really clear. Like, even when I went on, I just want to state this because I, I dipped out um, after Chad felt it was a dog pile. Um, oh, I was giving genuine advice, like genuine. I, I, the, the guy that came on said some stuff that was a little weird when it came to like, you're just trying to get her to back down. It's like, no, I just wanted to introspect or she was saying that to you. But like the whole point of all the criticism was introspect a bit and make a little change. You know, you can't just keep banging your head against the wall and coming back and trying to expect it to be different. That's not how growth works. You have yeah, to. Yeah, and it's especially annoying because like as much as Chad doesn't agree with me on this, I know I'm right. Like Lav is, she's very funny. She's like very social. She's very intelligent. Um, like she could be like a pretty big, like she could do really well. She hops into a lot of different conversations, is able to have challenging critical conversations with a lot of stuff. Like she could do really well, but the, yeah, she's like mind polluted by Max at the moment to the, <laughs> to the Max. Yeah, based, yeah. pun attended. So everything that's gone down today has like still been part of the anti-misogyny arc? Uh, correct, yes. Now uh -huh. we saw today, there was a drama kind of sort of was involving- Was calling me a whore anti-misogyny? It was involving a, a lot of women, but we saw that it was ultimately instigated by a man. So this is a really good example of how sometimes women can be driven to fight against one another, but at the end of the day, there could be a man responsible for it. So. Oh, okay, Kelly. I thought I thought that the whole strategy here was that like all the lab and Anna engagement has been like a 4D chess strategy to make the majority of women that appear on stream just seem enjoyable in comparison. I was going to commend you for it. Yes, uh, I really needed your help on that, Grimmy. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 not you. Oh my God, Steven. Jesus. Holy shit. Wow, Kelly, you're just going to be a savage now. That's what you're going to do. No, no, no. I was really nice to her on our, our first appearance, and the gloves are off now. Why? Wait. Why? Why? What did she didn't what insult did you? I... Wait, did she? Did I miss uh, something? Aaron, you. I was telling Stephen that. Wait, what? did I miss an insult? Wait, what? What? Kelly, what did I say? Wait. Kelly, this I think is you. Love. I thought it was love. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you sound oh, the fucking same. No. I didn't see. <laughs> My the bad. misogyny arc is doomed. It's doomed. Uh, it's doomed. It's doomed. It's doomed. It's doomed. It's doomed. You all sound the same. Okay, Americans. well, we'll figure it out. One female Kelly, did voice. did you just say all women sound the same? No, Sorry. stop. Sorry. We'll figure this Sorry. out. That's okay. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. My brain has gone blank. I have no idea what people were saying beforehand. Good. All the coke. Jesus. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's the up? Wait, why would coke affect your brain? Wait, what? Why wouldn't coke affect your brain? Well, I mean, like, memory, sorry, specifically. <laughs> because it's because of excitotoxicity, it. yeah. Coke is not super good for your front, frontal lobes. I mean, I don't do it, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> okay. Based. 